I just got a COVID test and it's negative. Congratulations. Yeah. That's just, that's, there we go. That's just, uh, that's one of the things that was recently on my mind. Good job. Huh? Way, way to go. Good job. Thank you. It's the first test you passed it in a long time. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't you have failed to. Filled it with flying colors. Yeah. I didn't have to. <laughs> I get, yeah. <laughs> I did. I, I did. Uh, I did sneeze all over the place. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah, because you got. But you stick... sneezed on them, and they're like, "Okay, that's enough." You yeah. Don't, well, you don't, it's you like, don't need to do the swab. It's like a, they hand you the thing, and then they instruct you on what to do from behind a window. Oh. And then I'm like sticking the thing in my nose, and then I just sneeze really big two times, <laughs> and just didn't even phase her. So. Yeah, I think that probably happens most. That of the probably time. yeah, that probably happens a lot. Yeah. Because you're just tickling up in your nose. Yeah. It was really tickly. <laughs> yeah. How are things with you? Oh. Oh, fuck. Well, I just dipped my headphones in whiskey, so that's... Nice. Oh, hell yeah. They'll be nice and clean. Yeah, it's like boofing, but through your ears. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I'm good. Uh, Jaron gave me a skateboard. Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Can you do any tricks? I can do a couple of tricks. I can't do very many. I can ollie. I can I can ollie. Um, Which I is can hard kick. enough. Ollie is <laughs> ollieing is hard. Yeah. Yeah. I can kick flip. Um, sometimes. Yeah, that's the one I was just about to ask with consistency, because that's one of the yeah, things. It's like I I can say that I've kick flipped, but I would I I don't I don't think I would put myself at like I can kick flip. Yeah, <laughs> I did it once. Yeah, no, I, I've done it probably three times, but it's it, that's a scary one. Yeah, yeah. you got uh I was skating with Jaron the other day, and he was just saying, like, you got to commit to the bit. I was like, oh, I, that's that's my main problem in in like comedy is I I never commit to a bit. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is stupid. I'm gonna fall down. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat shit. Well, yeah, that's the big fear uh, the whole time. And it's like you have to just learn how to fall. And then you stop being scared of falling. And then, yeah. yeah. But it's – you fall wrong enough times and you're, it's just – it's no it's no fun. Oh, yeah. No, I've, I've broken my arm a couple of times, so I've figured out how to fall. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, but, what kind was it? Was it just like a stiff arming the ground? Uh, oh, you want to see it? You can actually see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is my normal yep. arm. Okay. That my normal like arm. Uh, just just for reference. Yeah. Those and then this like... arm, you can't notice anything wrong, right? Uh huh. It looks fine. And then I do that. Oh, ah. there it is. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, freaky. That's that's the Idaho uh, healthcare system for you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. It yeah. They, it when they when it broke, they set it like slightly on top of it. And so like it's still there's so, yeah the scar tissue just kind of makes a big lump over over it. Wow. Yeah, they, they can fix it, but they would need to re-break my arm. No thanks. That's yeah. pretty metal. And the, yeah, and that happened when I was seven. So, so I mean, is it, it works fine? Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, okay. Yeah, look at me go. Can, who cares? You, you got a yeah. you got a still skateboard. You got one. Cool yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah. One normal, one neato. Man, right, if I had that's... to get my arm broken, like rebroken, good. What if it was that like sucks. you have COVID and they're like, the only way to cure this is we have to break your arm. <laughs> Bring in Joe Pesci and give him the baseball bat. Do it to my whole body, dude. <laughs> break me up. The cure to COVID is to break all your bones. Yeah. I mean, then you probably won't notice that you can't taste or smell anything, at least. I think a bunch of sure. people would be like, just put me on a ventilator and kill me. Instead. <laughs> of break all my bones. They would just choose to <laughs> yeah, die. One or the other. You know? Yeah. I kind of want to go on a ventilator just for fun. Just like what you're for playing. For fun, that sounds games. like fun. Yeah, I'm just tired of breathing all the time, <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> just to get a little assistance. How, That's how often are you you're thinking about breathing? Literally every second of the day. <laughs> I think if I stop doing it, I'm gonna stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could focus that much more on your Overwatch games, and then you could just probably hit pro level if you get a ventilator. Oh yeah, if you don't have to worry yeah. about breathing and a diaper, yeah, it's just yeah. one thing to take care of. Ventilator and a diaper. Uh, you're oh, be a professional Overwatch. Player. Well, one step ahead of you there. <laughs> 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 That's what that is. I'm a seniors, 55. Nice. I don't know how the uh, size depends. Anyways, I don't either. Large. I'm a I'm a I'm a toddler's uh, 
four hundred month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Husky Senior. <laughs> Um, hello, everybody, and thank you for being here with hey. us on the Pod Chaos. That sounded nice. Yeah, thanks. I'm working on a new s- style. Nice. Uh, I'm your host, Chad Johnson, with... That's good, too. Thanks. Uh, over here on the keyboards, Emma Jonas, everybody. Uh-oh. Ding. Over here with his That's patented, his uh, signature Dr. Pepper now. Diet Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Is it better? I think so, actually. Or do you just I hear feel it's better? just as good. Yeah, it's pretty much just as good, but it doesn't have the sugar. Does it have the uh, fake sugar in it? Zach Chapel, everybody. Hey, I'm over here watching a dog scrape stuff out of his ears and then lick it. Yeah. Yeah, he's Love really he's going like, at it. Uh, lunchtime. Uh, I mean, it's it's a little bit better than when he was aggressively tonguing his own asshole a minute ago. <laughs> That's what I was freaking out about. Yeah, right now he's uh, he's... I mean, he's doing my work for me, which is nice because he's taking his eye boogers out and then he <laughs> cleans them out of his nails. Oh. Also, and he just munches those. So licking his good. own asshole. You don't have to do that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <that's>, yeah. <laughs> Chore check. Yeah. Gross. Thank you, Leo. Uh, special guest good this boy. week, Jake Huney. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Jake. Hey. You're in your, uh, <laughs> your uh, green room basement yeah, yeah my comedy dungeon yeah it's great it's a good, yeah it's a good dungeon it, it doubles as a uh amazon warehouse but it's yeah it's good yeah you guys running you running some shit out of there oh logan does yeah have you have you guys not seen the re- like you may have seen this part but have you seen the rest of it uh-uh. uh here let me let me just turn this around so we got whoa a lot of boxes over there. Oh, yeah. Dude, you we can got make so many boxes. forts. Holy shit. Holy, it's literally heck? an Amazon warehouse in there. Oh, yeah. No, th- I'm not I'm not joking. That's what that's what my roommate Logan does. He's yeah, an sound, Amazon. It, it sounded like a, a funny way to just say I have a lot of shit in my basement. I have a lot. <laughs> also also that. But that's the thing is you can, if you just have a big room, you can be like, hey, Amazon, give me money to do your shit in my well, if you have room. If you have enough stuff, you can start a company. I think that's how companies... If you have yeah, enough okay. things accumulated, you could start a company off of whatever, hmm. thing, like a lot of things that you have. Okay. What's yeah. he? What's he? What, what's he trading in? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I have a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. It's true. Uh, he does mostly like audio equipment Ooh. and uh, and dumbbells. Cool. Like during during a uh, lockdown, everyone's oh. been working out. Yeah, oh, but yeah, yeah. 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 There's a lot of dumbbells around here. Expensive shipping. Yeah. Those those the price just rocketed on those as soon as like the lockdown happened mm-hmm. it was crazy and he's carrying them like up and down some stairs so he's accidentally working out like he's <laughs> not actually like setting time aside like all right i gotta I could do like 15 push-ups he's like no i gotta carry 50 boxes downstairs 50 boxes upstairs and he's looking like good me at you- work I'm always like, no, 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 I don't want your help. Let me let me lift all the stuff yeah. so that I don't feel bad about not exercising later after work. That's yeah, right. Just yeah. Jog from the car to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Get there as quick as you can okay. and as fast away. Yeah, run as fast as you can away from it. Yeah, that. big strides. Fucking nailed my workout today. <laughs> <laughs> Working out at work. Yeah, you can feel good about yourself for that. We're working. Do you? Okay, so you are a gym teacher, PE yes. teacher. PE teacher, yes. Uh right now yeah uh yes well before lockdown yeah i wasn't hired specifically it's like all right lockdown happened got to get jake huney the best Mm -hmm. online pe teacher there is yeah um no i was doing this before i was a k k8 pe teacher yeah and then lockdown happened and then i had to become a youtube star uh overnight (laughs) and i have 20 subscribers on my youtube account for my for all of my kids (laughs) <laughs> so that do you do the like uh the, the zoom classes yeah i do zoom classes i do uh our schools we don't want the kids on screen all the time so we've taken all like groups of kids like normally you teach one class of children at a time like 20 25 kids mm-hmm. i'm teaching 60 kids at a time over a zoom Whoa. Uh, Whoa. class they're all muted which is oh that's so beautiful <laughs> and they're mostly yeah. seeing just like a video right uh, most of the time it's live with me, but every now okay, and then cool. I'll put on like, it's like, all right, let's do some yoga. Here's some guided yoga. I'm hung over. So um, dude, my, my daughter's PE teacher. Cause they send her to like PE. So she goes from the, the like dining room area to the living room. And then she does her PE class 
every single time it's a video. I'm just oh, like, really? is it? <laughs> I, I think I heard a lady talking once. Yeah, I, it seems like she just does a little bit of voiceover, and she's like, "What do you think this yeah. is?" And then like they're doing like pumpkin pose or whatever, and I'm like, <laughs> "Right, okay." I mean, no, she's I'm... standing up, you know, a little bit. So <laughs> instead of sitting down for yeah, I don't dude, know if she's physically learning anything. Yeah, it's school's weird now, obviously, but yeah, <laughs> she she just she just sits down and hunches over a computer, and she's like. So my head hurts because I'm staring at a screen for way too long. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Fucking good. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. You nine-year-old. <laughs> oh, Leo. He's getting it. He's gross. Is he he's digging? busy. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's... Sorry. He's also doing... He's doing dog yoga. I'm really distracted oh, okay. by he, he Leo can, uh, getting all up in his asshole. He can... Uh, fit his leg behind his head <laughs> oh wow yeah Man. but at what cost <laughs> uh his it's it okay so you know how like sunflower seeds it's not really like nourishing you but it's giving you something to do <laughs> his mouth smells like his asshole do you smell his mouth i, I just i've learned next to me i've learned like a long time ago just to get away from his mouth well yeah. i tried to but it w wafts I don't even want to. I don't even let him lick my hands. <laughs> what? I don't even let him lick my hands. Oh, let him. He's not. A, he's not. A, <laughs> not an liquor. But I, if he tried to, I would fucking smack him away. Uh, so you guys aren't the type of people to let the dog just like lick, like inside your mouth. No, you gotta have no. boundaries. No, I've watched him just lick inside his. I swear he has rolled up his tongue and put it like I've seen it go inside his asshole. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen him uh, like make his the tongue a little wet first too. Like I saw him just licking around. Uh, <laughs> trying to build up a little saliva so it gets in there better. I regret bringing this up. Yeah, he spits into his paw real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him moan. <laughs> he had he had one whole fist up there, and he went, "Oh, he, he, he can't grab things, but he can make a fist." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of just holds his paw like. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. You gotta. You gotta yeah. angle it right. He just he just regular paws it. <laughs> Whoa. The yeah. dog paw. <laughs> dog paw. <laughs> yeah. You'd think he would be more okay with you trimming his nails for that purpose. Mm -hmm. But he's not. It makes him really sharp. Yeah. No, it helps get those oh, deep scratches. True. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> how's how's, uh, how's teaching going, Jake? <laughs> oh, we're talking oh, yeah, about teaching. Kids. Have you had any, um, um, I don't know, do you have any insights about uh, the New World Order? Oh, just because I'm a teach teaching, I, yeah. I know what's going to happen just because I'm teaching the, yeah, the yeah, future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the future is is TikTok uh, among us um, and like got it, got it. fuck boomers. That's that's what yeah, okay. all that's what I'm teaching my kids, at least. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the valuable skills I see, like actually doing things. So those are going to. Yeah. Tell them to put those on their resumes. Uh -huh. Among yeah. Us is, uh, is a huge social interaction thing for kids now. It's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, I found a I found a PE version of Among Us. Um, How's that work? And none of my kids enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it. That that was the day I put on a video because somebody else suggested that I do it, and it was just like, all right, there's a red, a blue, and a and a green character. Choose one and do the exercise, and at the end, find out who the imposter was. <laughs> um, <laughs> like this is not complex enough. No, yeah, there's there's no lying, there's no cheating, I'm not uh, yeah, throwing my no, friends under the bus. Yeah, mm -hmm. no bluffing with your face, which, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I'm so bad at being the imposter on Among Us. I get, like, I panic the whole time I'm, I'm panicking. And yeah, I'll, just, I, I'll just, like, hide an event the whole time until the other team wins. <laughs> <laughs> I think every, like, I'm going to come out, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then it's like, they won. <laughs> I think every time I've killed someone, there's been an immediate meeting and someone goes, Chad did it. I just saw him do it. He's not even trying. I've been in those games. Yeah. 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 It was Chad. He doesn't know how to play this game. Yeah. You, you try to like hold a poker face, but you're not good at it. No. Well, and no. also <laughs> if anybody even references me and I'm like innocent or whatever, not an imposter, uh, I'll still laugh a lot. And then everybody's like, oh, get him the fuck out of here. And then it's like, <laughs> he's not an imposter. And I was like, I... No, I, I got, I have the same problem. I'm an easy, easy laugh. And I'll just like, yeah. la like somebody's like, mm -hmm. Jake, Jake, you were in this room. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, yeah. like... <laughs> Most of the time I'm just confused about what's happening. 
That's looks, a good play. Which looks sus. It does. <laughs> as I've come to find out. Yeah, do people throw out like what room they're in? They're like, oh, I'm in electrical. Like, is that the one with the electronics? <laughs> I would assume I'm pretty so. sure this whole spaceship has electronics everywhere. All, yeah. I'm walking There's up to electronics. Room. <laughs> Wires all over the place. Yeah. Why are they all unplugged? Every panel, I'm pretty sure, is plugged into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so uh you were on wasn't he on truth or dare yes and, yes it was yeah and that was your truth was that you've had uh reese witherspoon and someone else yell at you uh yeah, or, i've had i've had three famous people yell at me i've had reese was... witherspoon shane torres and norm mcdonald uh, norm mcdonald yeah whoa yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those were those were fun times. Like Reese Witherspoon was just a nice, innocent, like jabbing at each other, which was yeah. fun. Um, I was on a movie set and the director gave her a note and I gave her the same note, but in like a, a weird, funny voice. Mm -hmm. um, and she laughed and called me an idiot, uh, which was kind of my style. That's pretty That's good. Charming. So, yeah. Right. Um, uh, Shane Torres, I dated somebody that he wanted to date uh, and then he yelled at me in a parking lot. Um, in front of a bunch of other uh, semi-famous comedians, which was cool. Screw um, you, asshole. Yeah. That's Shane Torres. It's a good Shane Torres. Good Shane Torres yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep it. Keep that. Zach always uh, and, those impressions. And then I was running lights at a comedy club in Portland uh, when Norm Macdonald did a drop-in set. And I was really drunk and very young, and I thought it'd be funny every time he told a joke. It's like new joke, new lighting scheme, oh. and I was just like switching <laughs> so lighting schemes through, oh. uh, like through his set. Uh, <laughs> he yelled at me, got the crowd on his side, which I made a good show, but I was mm. called an idiot afterwards. Yeah, That's that pretty good. Tracks. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I feel like you deserve that one. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, well, you'll never do it again. A hundred percent. Yeah, I was not allowed back in that club for a couple of weeks, so that was. <laughs> ugh. So, were you doing extra work? Uh, with the Reese Witherspoon thing, yeah, I was doing yeah. extra work for a while. Was that in, uh, you said you're from Idaho? Uh, I was born in Idaho. I've, I've bounced around a lot. Um, okay, me but too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was in Oregon. I was doing extra work cool. for the uh, movie Wild that she was in where she did the Pacific Crest Trail and then shouted a bunch. There was a lot of shouting in that movie. Nice. Yeah. It sounds like uh, Garden State. Is it, is it the same as Garden State? It's pretty much Garden State, but on a different coast. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah Garden State I is the New Jersey Wild. Yeah, I hear okay. that. I hear that movie's good. Actually, the only thing uh, I've heard about that movie is uh, Nikki Glaser was talking about it once, and she said uh, that movie made me so anxious because I was waiting for her to get raped, but she never got raped. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could, I could see that. There's, a, there's a lot of uh, chances for that in that movie, yeah. but. Yeah, the... that's the only thing I've heard. So it's like, well, at least I don't have to worry about that. That's the thing that that always crosses my mind when I think like, oh, maybe I'll do the PCT. That'd be cool. And I'm like, oh, but right, maybe. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't go on most hikes thinking about that. But that one, I feel like it would cross my mind more than I want it to. I always thought it'd be fun to do it because you might get laid. <laughs> <laughs> you might get to rape. I didn't say that. <laughs> Jeez, Emma. <laughs> what other what other movies have you been in, Jake? Um, uh, I was I've been in like a couple uh, indie horror films, um, which were a lot of fun. What were they called? Uh, there's one called the the Blood Creeks uh, the Blood Creek Woodsman. It was like a Friday the Thirteenth knockoff movie set in Oregon. Cool. Uh, I was in a movie called The Tunnel, where I was actually the star of that movie, but it was a yeah. super shitty movie, so it made me not want to do acting anymore. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Yeah, yeah. It's like a it's like a really bad show, and you feel like it's your fault. Yeah, oh, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Been, there. been there. I got paid in Taco Bell, comedy. so that was kind of nice. <laughs> you get paid in Taco Bell. Good deal. Zach, mm -hmm. you know you can get paid in Taco Bell as an actor. Uh, nope. But I'm looking into acting classes as we speak. So. <laughs> Make a once a week talk about pilgrimage lately. Oops, pull your ears off. Okay. Uh, so how do you? Uh, how did you get into that kind of thing? Um, my I did it in high school. Uh, did acting and stuff in high school. Um, right after high school, I was doing like improv and stand up and just kind of getting into the the actor's life. And uh, cool. Yeah, it was it was fun for a little bit. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh. It's, 
technically since 2007. Wow. That was, neat. that was my graduate. I graduated high school with a stand up comedy act. We had to do a senior project. So that was, wow. that was my, my thing it was a 20 minute set in front of a, like our arts night. Like everyone was doing monologues and things. And, mm -hmm. uh, my mentor teachers were asking me, was like, do you need to say shit and bitches as much as you do in this set? I'm like, it kind of, it, it would, it would, uh, definitely help the set. So, uh, definitely did it anyways. So nice. Being yeah. able to say shits and bitches in front of your whole student body. Oh, it was great. Oh, it was so and good. I assume you got laughs. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was actually like pro probably my best performance <laughs> <laughs> was my first one, and I've been chasing it ever since. Yeah, That's how it goes sometimes, yeah. especially when your first set is in front of people who already know and presumably like you. Yeah, they already kind of like knew my personalities, and I didn't really like, need to explain a whole lot. It's just like, mm -hmm. hey, it's me. You guys know also, me, right? I'm tell also, jokes. A fairly large crowd, I would assume, too. Yeah, it was like 200 ish people yep. at the nice. arts night. So, oh, you went to one of those art high schools. Yeah, our our high school wasn't known for sports. We were mm. mostly known for like theater and like fine arts and stuff. Portland? Uh, Hillsboro. Oh, okay. So I just outside Portland, yeah. Yeah. That tracks. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So you just like transitioned into like that, just transitions right into that. Yeah, and I, yeah, I was just doing open mics and uh, acting and uh, uh, local plays, local like commercials and uh, stuff like that. Um, did you got have, a, like? Oh. An, did you have an agent? Nope, was just doing it on my own. Cool. Yeah. Did you have a Palm Pilot? <laughs> Those were the shit, man. I wish I it's about still the right had time a Palm for that Pilot. Too. Yeah, I had one. I don't know where it went. Maybe a BlackBerry. Ooh, no, no, oh, I was never fancy. a Blackberry kind of. A little scroll ball. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Pretty sweet. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, what was the uh, name of the movie you were in? The uh, the first one with the blood name. Oh, the Blood Creeks Woodman. Uh, blood Creek Woodsman. Not oh, okay. a catchy title. Yeah. No. <laughs> they should have called it the Woodsman of Blood Creek. That makes I, more sense. Yeah, that does that's... make a lot more sense a memorable title <laughs> are any of them are is that available anywhere uh i think there's a trailer for the blood creek woodsman uh on youtube um but cool. the tunnel actually got the story got bought by a a producer in la and they had to like get rid of all of the original screenings of it uh hey. so and I didn't like the movie, so I threw away all of my original like <laughs> copies that the director oh, wow. gave me. I was like, nah, fuck this. Yeah. Um, and then like a year later it got bought and I couldn't get it anywhere. It was on IMDB for free. Like you just watch the whole movie on IMDB. It was like 90 minutes. Feature length? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Feature length. So it got bought by a like a studio and made into a different thing? The, yeah, well, what I was told from the director was like studios buy just stories all the time just in case yeah. they want to make it. Um, so I don't think it ever got made, but somebody owns the rights to it in Hollywood. Maybe it's uh, <clears throat> the Sylvester Stallone movie Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> where they get trapped in a tunnel. I never oh, heard it. oh, could be. It's a weird one. It's not a great movie, but it did teach me that uh, rubber makes uh, uh, you can't blocks electricity you can't transfer oh it's not a conductor yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks <laughs> but yeah, there's a it's down an power line and someone film. and some lady's like give me your shoes and they're like what shoes and she's like yeah uh rubber is not a conductor and she just grabs the power line and well it has Viggo Mortensen in it also who oh, oh i hope i hope he was cast as me <laughs> yeah actually Viggo Mortensen as Jake Cuny Oh, yes. Perfect. Wow. Yeah, I see the resemblance. Yeah. Gotta awesome. get you on a horse. <laughs> I can ride a horse. Dude, horseback riding's fun. That was my first merit badge when I was a Boy Scout, was horseback riding. Nice. I was a Boy Scout also. How far did you get? Eagle, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I was going to ask if you made it to Eagle. I could totally see you being an Eagle guy. I, I have a very embarrassing first tattoo. Um, uh oh. Oh, because man. because of uh, Boy Scouts, I got it. I got it when I was nineteen. Here, you can you can kind of see it. Yeah, gotta see it. Uh. 
Oh, oh okay. That's yeah. the, uh, <laughs> it's a fleur de lis with a blue a, eagle. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. Right. <laughs> That's a statement. Yeah. Has that ever um been a problem for you having that tattoo? <laughs> uh I don't think it's been a problem. It's been uh the subject of ridicule. Um yeah, okay. I could see that. Which, which I don't find as a problem. I just think there's like, oh, this could be a joke in ten years after I get over the ridicule. Has anybody <laughs> ever seen your tattoo and been like, Ooh, what's this mean? And then you're you're like, I'm not gonna say Boy Scouts right now. I'm gonna say um, this means this is for my grandpa. My, and, my grand, uh, yeah. <laughs> I used to be in a white I, power gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Icelandic phoenix symbol. Uh, right. Yeah, eagles. Yeah. Eagles are pretty uh, fraught now as the symbol, aren't they? It's goddamn shame because eagles are badass. Well, it depends you know on which way its head it's, is facing. That so, doesn't make any sense. Eagles' heads <laughs> face every way. Uh, <laughs> So we were just at the park a couple of days ago, and there was an, a bald eagle. Oh, it was so cool! And there were two. What were they? Hawks or falcons? I don't know. Some one, kind of one of those. Or something. Yeah, and they were both attacking it, and it was just it was like it was going and it was flying upside down yeah, to like, like fucking rolling around in to the like, sky. To uh, like you know repel them off of. Also, uh, eagles sound stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they don't they don't sound like eagles in real life aren't. Uh, so if you hear a bald eagle in a movie. It's actually like a red-tailed hawk yeah. scream, yeah. and uh, bald eagles just like chirp. Like it's a very, it's, it's like, just yeah. like, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. yeah, they it's sound adorable. stupid. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're. Uh, I Was think... that at the beach? No, is it Minto? Oh, whoa! Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right here. Minto's was... fucking crazy these days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Salem John is... Minto Park. Yeah. Is it, is it John? John Minto? Yeah, it's John Minto and it someone John Minto. Brown. I forgot who the other guy is. Yeah. I took a picture okay. of the sign. Who's John Minto? Do you know who that is? Uh, John Minto was a pioneer explorer in like the 1800s that like traversed Oregon, like the Santiam Pass, especially like near Salem. Bought a bunch of area. land. Mm -hmm. All right. So anybody who hikes, you just kind of are involved in that kind of thing. Reese uh, Witherspoon, I... John Minto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy Scouts. Anybody, yeah, anybody that hikes. If if you hike, I, I know them. Okay, cool. Yeah. I only made it to Weeblos. I didn't quite make it to the, all the way. That's fine. It's Is that uh, the it's Jesus a one. No, that's no. Boy, uh, Cub Scouts. That's like right before you hit Boy Scouts as Weeblos. Oh really? No, I thought. Oh, I don't know. Mine must have been all messed up. I don't know why how I ended up in Weeblos, but I know for sure I was in Boy Scouts. Is a Weeblo uh, something... like an animal or something? Maybe they flipped no, the script on me at it, some it point. It stands for We Be Loyal Scouts. Oh, yeah. No. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool. It's, it's a cult. It's a cult. Honestly, like I'm kind of glad I'm out of it, but. <laughs> you went all the well, way though yeah i i went pretty far i went pretty far up there i was in boy scouts for a very short amount of time and uh like the pinewood derby thing oh, yeah. was, awesome. was right after i started and i got second place in that and then uh just after that was the uh, halloween party and i came dressed as a power ranger and everybody else was like a army man or a, a vampire you know cool shit and uh -huh. then I got made fun of for being a Power Ranger. And then I was like, <laughs> cool, there go the Boy Scouts. <laughs> that was the it's last time up. I ever involved myself in the Boy Scouts. Uh, I never heard any Boy Scouts taking a hard Power Rangers stance. They're like, yeah. nope, not part of like. But I was also, yeah, I, I, was, I was also just like the new kid. Oh, yeah. So I, I think there was just you a lot of that. You were being hazed? I think so. Well, what Power Ranger do you dress up as? Uh, Billy, the pink <laughs> Oh. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Billy's the best one. Yeah. Billy Blue Billy's Ranger is the awesome. best one. Yep. How many uh, Boy Scout tattoos in the world do you think there are? Because there can't be that many. <laughs> oh, no, there's a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, everyone at my Boy Scout camp that I worked at, like, has one, at least. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, matching? Matching yours? No, not, <laughs> no, not matching mine. Yeah. Just like some random, they're just like, this means Boy Scouts. And like some of them are a little bit more low key. Like it'll just be like a mountain or something. I do have, I do have a campfire, which is kind of Boy Scouty, but more camping related. That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. I want someone to have Boy Scouts in Old English just right across their like, chest. Some of them do. <laughs> I know a dude Much that has, BS. he has a eagle tattoo and it like has like the Boy Scout motto. Like it says like, be prepared. Like right underneath it, which Isn't nowadays, that... like eagle and being prepared, mm -hmm. just I don't know. That seems very proud boy. 
kind of me. Yeah. I feel like that kind of blends in pretty well with probably some of the Boy Scout culture. Yeah, the Venn diagram of Boy Scouts just looks like a peach. Like, it's just like so, (laughs) two circles so close together. Yeah, I can really see that. That was uh, Scar's motto from Lion King. Be prepared. It was, yeah, be prepared. Boy Scouts love that song. May your teeth and ambitions be bared. (laughs) Yeah, did they not know that those were the bad guys? Maybe it was some foreshadowing. I saw a really uh, interesting Lion King theory uh, this week that said... uh, Scar ate Mufasa after he got trampled to death. I saw that too. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What? Explain yeah, because, this, please. <laughs> well, uh, no, I guess nothing eats lions in Africa besides lions. And there's a scene afterwards where Scar is like eating the bones of something and picks mm. up uh, something's head. And it's a lion's head. Uh, like yeah, a lion's he's skull. holding the skull like in, oh, like in right. Hamlet. Like, like a Hamlet thing. Which okay. I mean, also, Lion King supposedly oh, yeah. to Hamlet. Is although Hamlet. he's not, he doesn't say, "Alas, poor Scar." Wh- whatever he says, but uh, I mean, uh, isn't not Scar. Is not when Zazu is uh, Mufasa singing in the ribs? Yeah, yeah, he's all caged up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he starts yeah, singing, yeah. "I'm a uh, lovely bunch of coconuts." Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. fucked up. Pretty fucked. His up. own brother. Man, I want to see the I want to see the uh, initial uh, version of that movie. Why? What? What's? What was? Where that? it's like before they cut out the part where he ate Scar <laughs> or uh, Mufasa or whatever. Oh, you think they animated that full segment? I and want. Then they were yeah. like, this is maybe we can keep the trampling. This That's is a, maybe a little bit too far. Do you think That's there was imagine. a song <clears throat> along with it? Yeah, it's a real mm-hmm. sneaky song. Yeah. It has like a little dance number to it where Scar's on his back legs like this. Doink. What's that? Is Pick, he picking up the? Uh, oh, I thought he was dipping. Picking it. up the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dipping it. It's a buffalo sauce. Oh god! <laughs> Water <laughs> buffalo. Sauce. Frank, I put that shit on everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, Jake. We have some segments we get to on this show, and we're gonna do that now. That's pretty good. Thanks. Yeah. Is that is that a new keyboard? No. Classic. Oh, okay. Keyboard classic. But it's got um, many sounds. I'd say probably like a thousand different sounds I've heard come out of that. Probably, it has 99 sounds. Mm. One of them is helicopter. Oh, nice. Yeah, and one of them is train on tracks. And glass breaking. Ooh. That's the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, nice. Soothing. Maybe. Ah. Cool. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> The first the birds. The first uh the first segment here is uh actually gonna be plugs. Hello. Hello, plugs. Oh. Plugs. What <laughs> that was weird how it went down. <laughs> oh no. It's like in a toilet. Hey the the, the okay, toilet's sorry. ringing. <laughs> that actually sounds kinda cool. Uh, that was good. Plugs. Plugs, yeah. Me first? Mm-hmm. Sure. Give me, give me. Um Truth or Dare Live every other Tuesday. Um next show I mean the last show was on January nineteenth. Uh, and boy, was it super fun. You can still watch it. It's all on Twitch, baby. All of it. Twitch.tv slash Truth or Dare Live. I've got full shows. i got clips. i got shows coming up every other Tuesday. 8 o'clock p.m. PST for free. Make an account and you can comment and send me um, your wildest dares. Send them to me and I will make people do them for money. Even if you don't <laughs> make an account, you can still watch the show. Yep. You don't need an account. No account required. That's the show's motto. Nice. It's a good motto. Thanks. I like that motto. Thank you. Um, Thursdays. No. Yes. Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. You can check out something from the pod chaos. Thursdays is All Who Wander Are Lost, where uh, Lars Soderlund and I go over a uh, video game or a video game uh, saga. We just did Metal Gear, and that was really fun. It was great. Um, Saturdays is the pod chaos. This episode will come out on a Saturday. Hello for joining us on a Saturday. Hello for joining us on a Saturday. <laughs> Sundays is. Do you uh, want to leave? There's a helicopter arriving. Is uh yeah, get me out of here. Uh, <laughs> get to the chopper. Sundays <laughs> is must be nice with Kyle Adams and myself, and that is a show about how. <laughs> uh, it's it started as a uh, as a show about how we both quit drinking on the same weekend. Uh unrelated incidents but uh what are we going to keep talking about that 
So we just talk about stuff. Like trains? Mm -hmm. We talk about trains. (laughs) We talk about uh, helicopters. (laughs) And the last time we rucked some glass. (laughs) Lasers. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, check that stuff out. And... I don't know What's what that's that supposed one? to be. Is that like sounds a, like a gun. Is that a gun? I don't know. I'm sorry. Good. Hey, Zach. Please continue. Uh, <laughs> you can catch me Saturday and Sunday nights at Infinity Room. Hell yeah. In the kitchen. Headlining the kitchen. Headlining the kitchen. <laughs> trying to get fired, but it's really hard. <laughs> I can't get fired from there. What's What's the thing you've done that you thought would get you fired, but didn't get you fired? That you can say on a recording. <laughs> <laughs> I put that chorizo in everything. <gasps> you dare. It's a vegan restaurant. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe what I learned about vegan and semenism. I mean, the other way around. Semen, <laughs> semen and veganism. <laughs> I don't. Well, let's, let's not get too into semantics here. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was almost Phil Collins. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's good shit. Um, you can also catch Zach on All Who Wander Are Lost pretty often. He's on there. I'm as a well. guest. I play Borderlands three really well. Yeah, a little too well. A little too well. It's it's kind of that game drives me crazy because of the uh, the little bit of input lag it has and the way that the menus work. Um, and the fact that you have managed to get past that is crazy to me. You just kind of have to accept it. I don't want to accept at a, it. At a certain point, well, I mean, I've also put in a, probably like over 100 hours yeah. of that game. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Jake, what do you have? Uh, I have Quarantine Comedy every Wednesday. It's an open mic, and uh, you can show up and perform. You can show up and just watch. Uh, you can perform. Uh, show up and heckle. My mom likes to come up and heckle oh. sometimes, so that's oh, fun. Oh, wow, that's fun. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you think it is. She doesn't tell me when she's showing up, and she just shows up and starts yelling at people. Um, uh, I can also uh, you can check that out on Facebook, Quarantine Comedy PDX, uh, and also on Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's all I got right now. Cool. Single handedly keeping comedy alive in the quarantine. Trying to, and also are you, yeah. Are you just writing everybody's uh, log lines for that's their shows? Your, that yeah, put that on your poster. Okay. Um, but you have to quote me. <laughs> yeah, Emma Face Jonas. And also plug my show on your poster. <laughs> There's going to be so with many like, bigger font than your lines. show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, just you... make another poster with my show on it and put that um, on top of your poster. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll work it out. What's yep. that thing called? The little TM, little trademark sign? Yeah. You got to put a little EPJ after. after <laughs> Ooh, I love I just, that. Yeah. Yeah. Just with yeah. A <laughs> that's very good put in like a cloud or something with a copyright symbol next to it mm-hmm. perfect registered mm-hmm. trademark tm i like this time. copyright that's a good one that is a good one <laughs> uh so we have uh segments here other ones to get to like a show and show and talent where it's a show and tell or a talent you can you can choose whichever one you would like to do okay if you don't have a show and tell you can do a talent i explained that already yeah, I think yeah, you did, it made you perfect did great. sense. Yep. Show and talent. That one is weird. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good now. It just sounded weird for a second. Yeah, because I was playing jazz. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't get jazz. No, that's... a lot of people don't get jazz, but I get jazz. Nice. Thanks. I was I was uh, That's listen- my talent. I was listening I love- in, be- in between the jazz. Yeah, it's about the notes you don't play. Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You get <laughs> right it. Here. Zach gets jazz. Right here. This is half of a commercial, but uh Mr. Video, Emma got me this uh Mr. Video hat for an early birthday present. Mr. Video. And uh Mr. Video is a video store right down the street in Kaiser, Oregon that has uh all your movie rental needs and we have uh consistently five movies out for rent there. We just Watching all the movies, getting some late yeah, fees. We're watch paying late one. fees. It's almost like fun playing paying late fees. It is. I'm like, like, oh, I don't mind. <laughs> oh shit! And he's like, "Yep, that's gonna be a dollar fifty, sir." I'm like, "Oh, you he's got like, me." He's like, "It's okay. I'll knock it down to a dollar twenty-five for you." I'm yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now I can af- now I can afford a gumball over there. Yeah. They sell chupa chups. And try to get a blue one for a free movie. Yeah. We watched a uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane yesterday. Yes. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? It's pretty creepy. That's a super creepy one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I liked it better than the original. 
It was uh, better than the original Cloverfield. It gave me less of a headache. Yeah. Yeah. It was more interesting of a story and everything. Mm-hmm. How much of that movie would you say I saw? You saw maybe thirty <laughs> percent of the movie. Okay. And what did you think of that thirty percent? It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was as good as I remembered um since having seen it in the theater when it came out. Yeah, we started a movie at like eleven thirty. I stayed up through the whole thing, it was crazy. We yeah. started the movie at like nine no. thirty. No, oh no, no okay. Way. No, that's not right. That's I rescind I was wrong. I will fully Whoa. admit. Oh. Ah. Do you want my show and tell now? Yes. Okay. I want to put that written down in the wiki. The it's one thing recorded. I will say about it, I wish it was uh, not Cloverfield, uh, not a Cloverfield tie. It doesn't make any. It's, there's it no reason that it should yeah. be a Cloverfield thing. Even the the stuff at the end is like different than the monsters in Cloverfield. Maybe. Th- so what the heck? Star Wolf. I don't know what you're referring to, um, but I got myself Star this birthday. Fox? Star Fox, is that what you're going yeah, for? Yeah, I just splashed my nose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Star, Star Ooh, nose, your nose boof in it. Um, Woof. <laughs> sometimes Emma says, what the heck? And it sounds exactly like the way Star Wolf says it in, uh, when you're having that open open air battle with uh, Star oh, Wolf. Oh, right. Yeah, now I get you. Yeah. What, what the, the heck? heck? Yeah. Yep. Yep, I get it. That's all I'm going to hear what now. What the heck? Like yep. that? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. That's just how I talk. They copied that from that's- me. <laughs> I don't know. I probably picked that up somewhere from culture, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, people say what the heck. Yeah, it's just a thing that people <laughs> say. But that's my that's my immediate brain. What do you have here? I got myself this birthday present at my favorite uh, little vintage shop across the street, Vintage in West Salem, because I had to go get my dog some drugs. It's called uh, across the street. Yeah, it's called across the street, which is confusing because it's actually across the bridge. But I got myself this little elephant. I'll show you. Oh, that's cute. It's a little candle holder. And then I'll show this one. That's a, the other camera. It's a god it's all, you know, hand painted and shit. It's my little uh, my little guy, my little dude. It looks like it's done with one of those uh but you could drill two holes and then smoke pens. weed out of it. <laughs> You're both right. Mm-hmm. Zach, you've been making <laughs> bongs lately. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I made one bong, but I think I'm gonna make a couple tomorrow. You're a bongman. Oh. What are you making Set them out of? Up. Um, glass bottles, like uh, booze bottles, the drill bit, drill oh, bit. Okay, I got yeah stems and stuff buy from the store. Yeah, it's 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 better than it sounds. It's yeah, it's <laughs> way better than it sounds. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's when no you duct said... tape involved. <laughs> yeah, if, I'm making yeah. them out of Gatorade bottles and pans, <laughs> <laughs> apples, potatoes, <laughs> one time users <laughs> call them, and then you cook them afterwards. Yeah, no, that's the best part about using an apple is you can eat it afterwards and get extra high. It turns oh, into an edible. So upsetting. I'm guessing. You totally can eat the apple afterward, and I've done that so many times. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's just, well, you just have one one down and one over. Yeah, I guess it's you fine. Eat, you that's can fine. eat, like, 80% of it still. Yeah, okay. Because then once you're stoned, you're like, dude, I got an apple. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Okay, go on. Zach. Well, you since have, you have a show and tell here, yeah. Since we're plugging stuff, this is a uh, sponsor, APC American Flat Enamel Paint out of uh, California, USA. I got this cool. I can't get all the way up Sorry. there. It's stuck back here. Oh, I see. It oh, looks yeah. like a spilled can of paint. Looks yeah. like a spilled can of paint. Yeah. So cool. It has a, it's like a piggy bank type thing, but I can't figure out how to open it, so I haven't put anything in it yet. Watch him just snap it over her knee. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> I would never. The cool thing you found out about that is. They're rare. Yeah, it's worth a decent amount of money. I decided I was c- contemplating going back to the store and buying the other ones, but I figured I'd just h- keep. There this are one. more. Like, yeah. How many? Uh, well, it was like two, three days ago, but there Ooh. was probably like eight more. Dang! Someone had a collection. Yeah, That's and they're cool. a dollar a piece. Probably someone wow. that worked at APC American Flat and Animal Paint out of California. Probably so. Thanks, APC. Did uh, what was the average price you found those for? Uh, it was like anywhere from like eighty up to like a hundred and fifty. Oh crazy. damn! Yeah, but I don't want to resell stuff online. That's just too much of a hassle. Yeah, it's just, it's just cool to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. It's a yeah, neat, I think you got to pry item. it off. Uh, yeah, I think it's like, like a paint w- can lid. Yeah, like a one-time use type thing. Neato. That's Call such it. a good find. Get your friend Richard to do it. He's a prior. <laughs> uh, ha ha. Yes. Shut Comedy. Up. That's a zinger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just learned who Richard Pryor was uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe it? 
<laughs> I mean, would actually. Yeah, there are people that would believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't know who he is. I've been getting Richard Pryor and George Carlin mixed up this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mistake. They are. They are. Uh, well, they're both on TV. Mm-hmm. Everybody on TV looks alike. <laughs> <laughs> Small screen, can't tell. It's all black and white TVs. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, do you have a show and tell or talent? Uh, yeah, I was going to plug in my electric guitar, but oh. uh, wh- when I did, it all stopped working. Oh, no. So Rest in peace. Oh, do yeah. you want to light your guitar on fire? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's an old guitar though so like i understand that it's not working it already had its head snapped off once um and had to get titanium oh, no. bars in it mm. to actually uh-huh. make it workable uh, i have my acoustic or i have a painting that i did so painting's pretty I, cool i wouldn't mind seeing the guitar both. just in general just without actually playing that sounds like a cool guitar put together old thing Oh, it, that's upstairs. I'd have to run up and get it. I want to see oh. the painting, and I would like to hear some acoustic guitar, please. There we okay. go. All right. Painting. What are the uh, movies we have rented at Mr. Video? Great question. We have... I made... Ten... Oh, he's back already. Wow, cool. So Never fast. mind. Okay. Uh, I made this as a white elephant gift for my work, because we all had to like, make something. and was like, oh, I can kind of doodle. So it's like a galactic... Ooh. Oh, I, cool. I'm not I'm not done with the trees yet, but wintry. Yeah, very wintry. That's there's cool. like actual depth. There. It's hard to see on the on the zoom, but yeah, no, that's cool. It's got some texture to that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's got some texture. Uh, but I have I, love it. I have my how talented guitar. my friends are. Mm-hmm. Um, now I like the things I was gonna do on electric were gonna be a lot cooler sounding, but they don't sound as cool on on acoustic. Um, like I was going to play Thunderstruck. I was like, oh, I've been practicing Thunderstruck. It does not sound as good on an acoustic guitar. It sounds all right, but not like Can as... you do the voice, though? <laughs> Thunder! That's nice. it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. But it's so, like, acoustic guitar is so... It, yeah, it's a lot harder. But doesn't Hell sound yeah. as good on. Thank you. I'm clapping. Appreciate it. I can do some Tenacious awesome. D if you want me to. Sure. Yeah, of course. If there's yeah. Tenacious D fans, I don't know if you're gonna get Hell hit yeah. with copyright infringement, but. Nah, J- JB would never do us that's like a, that. That's a. No, you could do covers. That's a. That's a humble brag right there. I'm sorry, you <laughs> might get hit with copyright infringement because this is gonna <laughs> sound gonna exactly sound so good like the album. <laughs> <laughs> the robots are gonna think we're criminals. <laughs> I I I uh I could play um uh you know that song that was on Guitar Hero the metal the yeah yeah just play I it do... backwards and then we won't get dinged oh right yeah just let me play it an entire song backwards yeah. from memory yeah. perfect uh but it sounds better again on electric guitar but it sounds all right ah. Sounds way better. On... Hell yeah. Yeah, that's badass. I just played that song uh, in the car with my daughter. Aww. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she likes some Tenacious D. I'm not going to play in the car with her at all of them. Right. But I'll play some You're of them. You're not going to play Fuck Her Gently? No. Yeah, I, I was really just like, what's that one about uh, fucking her gently? Nah, I'll, yeah, you... I'll, let, I'll let her find that shit on her own and be like, oh, I see what he's not <laughs> showing me. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. But like some t- like some all of Tenacious D, if you just play it by itself, it's like beautiful. It's nice. It sounds yeah. good. It's really yeah. good music. Yeah. Like Kill Bossa Sasa just sounds like nice and like Fuck. God damn it. Yeah, oh, it yeah. sounds Yeah, that's so a really good. good one. Yeah. Nice it job by the nice. way. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, I love when when a funny band is also very talented. Yes. Yeah. Other yeah. examples. Oh, Primus. um uh don't Garfunkel stop or we'll die. I never heard of Don't Stop or World Die. It's Paul Rust and Harris Whittle's band. I think Paul Rust still does it with, uh, oh, God, uh, another guy. I forget his name. Did they break up somehow or something? <laughs> Harris, Harris Whittle's died? Is yeah. that what happened? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, his, his his ghost might still be on the tracks, but you can't hear him. 
Oh, but yeah, they're it's... they're great and they're super funny. Did you die in a train accident or something? Is that what you're saying? No, it was uh <laughs> Oh wait. It was <laughs> Whoa, was that a gunshot? <laughs> that doesn't sound like heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that had a heroin noise on it. Hold on. <laughs> Where did they go? It was a freak bird accident. It was a freak oh. bird. <laughs> it was a bird demic. Okay. Was, uh, oh, R.E.P. <laughs> oh, he ate a bat. Oh, Twitter yeah. got to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all Twitter. Okay. Bird I overdose. See. He was Can really funny on Twitter, though. That's true. All right. Harris Whittles. Funny Good dead, show and funny tell. Dead dude. Talent. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Hell yeah. Yay. Yeah, great job, Jake. That was killer. Thank you. <laughs> well, how do you feel about... Uh, how, what do you think? You think it's uh, time for the next... Uh, Let me check. How often do you wear a watch? Uh, you know, I used to wear one all the time, and then... Um, then you started realizing you're still checking your phone, and then you're like, no, I just want to be a watch person. I'm not a watch person, <laughs> no, but I, I want to be. I was a watch person, but then my watch battery died, or my strap would break, and then, you know, I'm just, I'm in one of the in between times of wearing a watch right now, but I'm I will start wearing watches one right now. Yeah, I'm exactly. trying to find the right watch. I, d- I am trying to find I the right that. watch. I do kind of want to get one really nice watch from when the stand up starts again, because that's like prime, like dressing it up. Mm-hmm. I just want a nice shiny watch. One of those watches that I had when I was a kid, and it was a Lucky Charms watch that came in a <laughs> that came in a Lucky Charms box. It was a little, and it was little just, digital watch. Yeah, it was a, just a I digital had one watch, of those. and it was like it had so cool. one of the Lucky Charms. To find it on eBay. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, I was about to say. I don't think they're easily. cheap. I think they're. Uh, are the, nah, the, they'll be cheap. The, 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 the prize watch for me growing up was always the uh, was the Simpsons ones you can get from Burger King. Yeah. Is that a thing? Those are cheap, <laughs> too. <laughs> those are cheap saying. online. Those are like five, eight bucks, maybe 20. Oh, really? Well, I'm not going to walk around with one of those, but I wouldn't mind having it on yeah. the display We've somewhere. gotten a couple of those donated at my work. Lucky Charms um, watch. But yes, it is time, in it fact. It is time. Okay, cool. It is time, indeed, for... That would actually be on brand for you, too. <laughs> the top three. <laughs> So when it's when it's your segment, the sound is like awesome. I just guessed. Oh, that I was just great. Picked a random one. That was that was a very victorious. Thanks. Awesome segment. I didn't even mean to play a major jingle. chord, but I did it. Okay, welcome to the top three, everybody. Where there are three of uh, things, and they are the top. Um, oh yeah, that. This one, right? or this one? Oh, they go together. Oh, um, they do go together. There were. You get both of them. Aww. Yeah, they're they're like oh, no, they definitely don't go together. They're oh, they're just ones. ones upside down. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. anyway, welcome to the top three. We're, uh, like heart, stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons. You know, pots of golden rainbow and the red balloon. Do- have you seen the commercials? <laughs> I, don't have, I don't know what a commercial is. <laughs> you were in a commercial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that place true. went under, though, so <laughs> it way was to all go. your fault. <laughs> uh, the top three is... Um, I, I me-tooed them. <laughs> Uh, well, welcome, welcome everybody to the top three. Top uh, three. Where, uh, I have um, chosen a category, and each of you will tell me your top three of items in that category. Uh, these can be th- uh, things which have or have not occurred in your own life. They can be hypothetical or real or things that you wish for or do not wish for although i don't know why those would be in your top three and okay well we're gonna get started with chad johnson telling us your top three secret hideouts Ooh, Ooh. that's fun yeah i picked that one because jake's all in his basement and he's got like a whole lair down there so i thought he might yeah, have that's some, fair. some ideas about secret hideouts it's all right probably a box that he just moves out of the way and he's like <laughs> <laughs> i'm back here now no girls allowed yeah <laughs> Okay. Okay, ready, Chad? Uh, Your first pick. Uh, there was a construction site that stopped the build on a house that was like halfway done. Oh, yeah. And they had a lot of extra shit, and so like nobody was there for a couple weeks, and so we just went and took their extra wood and built a, a house like on that lot, like a little clubhouse kind of thing. Nice. That was pretty cool. Sick. And... Uh, I think since we probably weren't allowed to do that, it was a secret. Okay. <laughs> I love it. And I love that you're really sticking to the rules. Number two. Leo's got the hair 
That worked. It worked great. Yeah. I'm going to do that next time. You should time. just try to play the tone and see if that works. Just uh, okay. b- by It's number dog rules. six. Okay. Secret hideouts. Uh, the next one is... Um, uh, there was a place when uh, my mom worked at United Colors of Benetton in Florida Classic. where I could go under the uh, whole fucking building. Or the, uh, it's like kind of on a boardwalk, the whole thing. And so it's like a boardwalk mall. And so I found a place that was like down, you know, you go to the sand and then you go under it and then I could go under the entire mall wow. uh, thing. So that was pretty sweet too. Wow. Yeah. And that, I was, that seems in, like that's where homeless people might live. Maybe, but like, I don't know. I was younger. I, I never really thought about homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number three. <laughs> um, Number three is... Oh, I feel like I just had a good one. Number three is... Oh, sorry. Uh, a fucking treehouse. Okay, treehouse. Cool. Treehouses are cool. <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Excellent choice. I can't think okay. of the other one I was thinking That's of. perfect. It's okay, Zach Chappell, All you're right. up, my friend, with your top three secret hideouts. All right. What you got? Number three... Is the public library. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looking for anyone in the public library. The best kept secret. Mm-hmm. People don't even go there anymore. You just go there to argue. Yeah. Yeah. Or you lay low. You go to the encyclopedia section and you just pick one up and you start flipping through it. Mm, I've always been interested in things that start with the letter G. I was going to ask what your starting letter would be. G. <laughs> Hmm. It's not quite the middle of the alphabet, but it's not towards the end where it's going to get into a bunch of weird stuff. Like, I don't <laughs> care what starts with the letter V, that's for sure. <laughs> I think that's, that's your problem right there. Number two. Number two is the uh, bathroom at a Walmart. Because <laughs> most people don't want to spend a lot of time in there, so they're in and out real fast. There's no door to get into there. So. What? Yeah, in a Walmart. Uh, you just wish you were yeah. at Walmart. You just yeah, you just walk kind oh, of this way like and then you walk hallway. that way. Yeah, yeah, like oh. airport style. So you can't see. Yeah, it's, it's mm-hmm. set up that way. Okay. okay. I thought it was like a riddle. Like there is no, there, there's a bathroom <laughs> with no doors. How do you get in? The Walmart bathroom is a state of mind. And if you, I mean, if you really want to plan ahead too, like if you're really looking to hide out, you just grab one of those scooters they have, drive it in there, park it, put your knees, put your feet up on the uh, toilet seat. And if anyone asks any questions, be like, sorry, I don't have any legs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've really thought this out. I totally have. Okay. I Sometimes you thought just... Thought this out or possibly done this already. Yeah. I've thought it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zach, your third pick. Third pick. Good old fashioned. Just my car. Just nothing. Just straight up your Just car. straight up. Nothing's better than uh, parking somewhere and just hiding out. Yeah. Chilling out. For sure. Make I sure did no that one... just the other day. It was great. Yeah, isn't it right? <laughs> yeah. My favorite these days for hiding out is to uh, go to get some food and then just find a place to park oh, yeah. secretive and just devour it. Mm. You ever a you Taco Bell in my car and it sit in your car and just monster eat food? Yep, it's the great. Best. It's <laughs> so it's nice. it's like the worst thing to get caught doing or like to see someone doing. It's like oh you fucking you're you're monster. Uh, but <laughs> oh, I man, I, I love doing it. it. I I got my ranch. I got my chimichanga. Whew. Yeah. Eating Carl's Jr. in the Popeye's parking lot. <laughs> oh, scandalous. Hell yeah. Just blasting some fucking Doug Loves movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was kind of great because I got a spot on my uh, steering wheel that my phone fits in perfectly. Nice. So, yeah, I could just like watch whatever I want oh, right there. Oh, hell yeah. You just yeah. watch movies down I-5. <laughs> totally, yeah. Honestly, if I really wanted to. Just don't turn anywhere. <laughs> I never do. I only drive in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jake. You're up. What you got for your first uh, top three of secret hideouts? Uh, when I was a kid, I thought always thought it'd be cool to have a secret like underground bunker, and I tried to convince my dad to like like I'm gonna make a like underground bunker, and and uh, he gave me a shovel, and it was just a hole for like a week, so I would just <laughs> hide out in this like <laughs> like Hell four yeah. foot hole just where I would hole. like. A yeah. Grave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was like it was it was like vertical. Like I could stand in it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be the start. We're gonna like dive down. It'll be great. I love it. Um. Yeah. So great a choice. hole. Uh, Self dug hole. 
Very good. Uh, um, okay, number two. I like that. Yeah, that's fun. That was good. Um, I'd say uh, a Sears if they're open right now. Like, who goes into those anymore? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Nobody's going to go in. I could get in the clothes rotunda. Oh, yeah. That that was one of my ideas, that honestly. Was, yeah. yeah, that's a really yeah. good place. I didn't one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in like a department store that's going out. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. That's I think spot. the Sears are gone from Salem. Yeah, I think they are. Same with JC Pennies. You can, oh, you can get a Macy's. They're pretty much scarce. All right, Peonies. Yeah, so a Macy's. Peonies. Okay, Jake, num- uh, your third pick. <laughs> uh, last one is uh, a, a dive bar that has like uh, the least amount of stars. On Yelp. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shittiest dive bar. Dude, yeah. shitty dive bars are so good. God, I yeah. miss a shitty dive bar. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. Wow. Great choices all around. What a fine array of secret hideouts we have compiled. Um okay, great job. That was top three, everybody. Wait a minute. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Punked. Gotcha. <laughs> Pranked. I pranked you. I wrote down three top three uh, secret hideouts of my own, and I will now be awarding points based on who scored close to um, or exactly the same as or not even very close to, but spiritually somewhat close to uh, as per my discretion. So, like, are there minus points? No. Okay. There's only positive points? Only positive points. Or I will ridicule you, which is not worth negative points. Okay. All right. All right, I might even not ridicule anyone. We'll see. We'll see what happens. My first <laughs> first pick of the evening. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's like a bell tower collapsing. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. That's number 11 is chimes. Who knew? Okay, my first one, sorry, I got distracted by the keyboard, is a treehouse. You nailed it. Nice. You get two points. Two points for nailing it. Yeah, wow. exactly. Mm. Perfectly on board. Uh, and That is uh, uh, sus, as they say. I was going to say, <laughs> I didn't know how to address it. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, yeah. Did you read it off of my notebook? No. Okay, well, that's all Seems we can like go Seems like a treehouse is pretty... That, that is pretty standard. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, you know? I think um, a treehouse so is pretty I can't fancy. read her writing anyway. Hey, my writing's I don't know how to read it's, all, he, it's in Hebrew <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can you write in Hebrew? Um, Yeah Cool Kinda uh, Well it's been a while But yeah I could at one point Cool Uh, Like I only know Kind of like Biblical Hebrew And not even really But I can read it Okay number two Ben, ben does the worm As he gets up Yes he does <laughs> <And then> he <laughs> Yes he, he's got Weak legs And a heavy Front body And he's fucking Tripping balls right now <laughs> dude. He's wiling out <laughs> He just got up And moved two feet away And then laid down again Okay number two Is a fort uh, Parentheses In the woods uh, Which Chad Johnson I gotta give you a point For your Your halfway house mm-hmm. fort um, Cause that's pretty much How we built <laughs> <laughs> we stole stuff from the construction site and took yep. it into the woods and built a fort. What about um, my hole? I feel like my hole kind of counts. I'm as a... getting to it. Okay, I just points. wanted to. F- I just two wanted points to f- for hole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding ding! Two points for hole because it's so funny. <laughs> 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 okay, and uh, Zach Chapel. Um, is in the room. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I'm throwing curveballs. I'm saying good hiding spots that no one thinks about. Well, there's still time. There's still Zach time. Chapel, okay. Because number three, believe it or not. Walmart bathroom. <laughs> it sounds like Morse code. It's mom's closet. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically my mom's closet because there was room to hang out in there and I knew where she kept all the secret stuff. Nice. Uh huh. The bourbon, <laughs> the Christmas. No, presents. that was in the downstairs closet, and we didn't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about Christmas Eve, though? <laughs> uh, in my house, it was Christmas Adam. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give. Right. Um, I'm gonna give Jake two points for Sears for Mom's closet. 
because a lot of the stuff in mom's <laughs> closet came from Sears. <laughs> and I'm going to give Zach Chapel um, a half a point for the public library because I'm proud of him for going there. And, Hell yeah. Uh, Chad, you get one point for the UCB boardwalk. What is Oh, uh, <laughs> the United Colors of Benetton boardwalk. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote UCB <laughs> and then I confused myself you get a with point that. for going to the UCB. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I love improv. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, because that was your mom's work closet, it sounds like. Don't correct me. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just called your mom a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my mom fucks in the closet. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's not the kind of secret stuff I was talking about. I'm talking My about mom like fucks the under peers outside. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was kind of going for. That's, yeah. that's the connection I was okay, making. Okay, yeah. sure. No, that's where I found the the pipes that my mom would confiscate from my brother. I was like, what's this? Crack pipes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mostly crack pipes. PVC um, crack pipes. And I'm going to give yeah, Jake another I'd point. Shoot. I'm going to give Jake one more point for the shittiest dive bar um, because um, you might find a closeted mom there. Okay. That's the <laughs> top three, everybody. Uh, let's let's tally let's tally ho, shall we? N- uh, coming in third place with a strong one half of a point. Zach Chapel, everybody. Hey. Zach Chapel. Nice way to go. Uh, in second place with four whole points. It's Chad Johnson. Hell yeah! Way second to go. Second place, just like my Pinewood Derby car. Yep. <laughs> Consistent. Yep. Spray paint chrome. That was my color. Ooh. Ooh, I thought that was the name of it. <laughs> oh, that'd be a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Could you paint it like green or something like that? <laughs> Which means coming in first place with a whopping five points Whoa. is Jay Cuny. Nice. Thank you. Dang. Thank you. Yeah. Way to go, everybody. That was great. That was that was top three, top three. That was that top three is in the top three? Probably. Nice. We'll have to check the wiki for that one. Yeah, let's let's get that in the wiki, folks. I'm gonna get up and go grab a computer real quick. Oh, okay. Do you, back. do you want me to do that? Nope. Okay. Well, uh, I didn't bring it over here. I don't know where it is. Also, you're gonna have to. I'll find get it. it. I know where it is. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Good deal. Hey, Jake. What's the last thing you ate? Uh, last thing I ate uh, was some. Oh, it was these fudge M and M's. <gasps> What? Ooh, interesting. Fudge? Like they're yeah. soft? It's like, like fudge brownie. Whoa. Are they good? Oh yeah. Dang. Purple I'm, uh, bag. I'm trying to I'm trying to quit smoking and like I oh. needed some like chocolate. And I was like, oh ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did that M M&M and M have glasses? She did. Wow. I finally Ooh. I feel like I'm finally represented. Is this you as an M M&M? and M? It's yeah, it's an M and M. Whoa! <laughs> Taking this away. Mom's latkes. Mm, now I want some. I like the um, pretzel ones the pretz- myself. Oh, the pretzel, pretzel ones are good. Fuck around with those is so good. It's, there's nothing better than a chocolate chocolate and pretzels. Ooh, like the salty, crunchy, oh, yeah. chocolatey, all that oh, together. Yeah. You know what I've been jamming on is uh, grocery jam. outlet right now. Yeah, actually, that is involved. Is jam? Oh, really? Well, no, technically it's preserves. I want to say, okay. but um, <laughs> grocery outlet right now, you can get the big ass wheel of brie for four dollars. Oh, yeah. Four dollar big ass wheel on brand brie. You get some of that. You get some of those little lentil crackers, and you get some strawberry jam, and you put it all together, and you eat it. Mm. That's that my hot really culinary Fancy. tip for you. You put a little sprig of something on there, probably. Ooh, we even got some. Hun- have you ever had honey and brie together? Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, super That's good. real good. Yeah. Top tier. Oh, you even got those apples and pears too from your family. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Oh. Now that I'm an adult for my birthday, my my mom and dad, well, my family sent me um, fruit, which is awesome. Oh yeah, that's why that's up there. If you can still, see, if you can see the. <laughs> oh. I thought it just says all I could see is birth. So uh, somebody had a baby. I don't know. <laughs> I was oh born. yeah, yeah. Happy birth. <laughs> yeah. It is the day. Yeah, I've been born. Whatever. Emma put that up uh, a week ago for his uh, birthday. for my birthday, <laughs> and then oh, you just kept it as yeah. a favor, as as a you know nice move on my part. I left it up. Yeah. I said, don't don't tear this down. It doesn't make sense to tear this down. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now you get to take it. And down. then we'll we'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it up. <laughs> Uh, no, my birthday's coming until up until it's Zach's birthday soon. in August. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty soon. Yeah, that's just the birthday corner from now on. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. 
Everyone has to celebrate in this corner. Honestly, <laughs> we should dress dress uh, that shack up there with like a birthday hat or something. Oh. Make them look good. <laughs> be so cute. A little festive. Okay, I'm not looking. Thank you. Um, while you're setting that up, I will reveal what movies we rented this week from Mr. Video and Kaiser. Okay, I just got to... Oh, well, too bad. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, we got 10 Cloverfield Lane, as mentioned before. Mm -hmm. We got Paddington 2, which we also watched and was delightful. Uh, We got uh, Mandy was last time. We watched that and it was fucking awesome. Um, Have you seen Mandy? Mandy's wild. (laughs) I loved it. It's (laughs) insane. It was nuts. Yeah. (laughs) I liked it a lot, too. Speaking of new uh, weird ass Nick Cage movies, we haven't watched this one yet, but I presume it is one of those. Color Out of Space. That's Ooh, that one's we trippy. Rented. Cool. I'm into that. Yep. Uh, we got Fallen, which I've never seen. And Joshi, which I've also never seen, starring Thomas Middleditch. Fallen's the uh, one with Denzel Washington and John Goodman where there's a demon that transfers by touch. Sorry. Is, is that Fallen? <laughs> yeah. I okay. I National have seen that. Three. I have seen that. that. That's a good one. Yeah. Cool. I'm excited. I remember it to being good, it. but I haven't seen it for a long time. But also, a, yeah. Never mind. I was gonna spoil a part of the movie. I'm not gonna. Don't do, do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but also, um, next segment. Have you ever heard of the game show on television called uh, Jeopardy? Uh, I have heard of a, a Jeopardy. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, because we like to play a game on this called Jokeperty. Bam! There it is. Can you do, can you do Jeopardy? Yeah. Do, do it really da, fast. Da, da, da. And so on Jokeperty, it's going to be just uh, comedy, uh, trivia, and answers. Um, so what I'm going to need from you is going to be uh, your buzzing noise. It can be whatever you want it to be. Okay. There you go. Uh, you can think about it while Emma and Zach get their buzzing noises ready. Zach, what's yours? Arf, arf. Okay. Like some DMX stuff. You made Ben <laughs> sit up and look around. Uh, I said he's tripping balls. He probably thinks... You barked his, like he a thinks, dog. He thinks his dog's barking. Yeah, he did. Uh, he is at <laughs> you, the... You alarmed he's him. He's alerted. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, I'll come up with a different one. I think, yeah, dog, dog barking's going to terrorize this place. Uh, I mean, I don't... It's fine. Leo's still sleeping. He's the one that. Really okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna simplify it. Just uh, just a uh, arf. Okay. Just a roof. No, a uh, roof. Okay. Roof. You're settling on roof. 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 Okay. No Emma? bark. Bark. <laughs> bark. Bark. Yeah, I think bark's a good one. <laughs> I'll come back to you. <laughs> okay. Um, I uh, I'm gonna go with my favorite quote from all my favorite movies, which is, "Where is she?" Nice. Cool. Uh, sorry, Are you I, uh, fine? I was really uh, fizzy. Whoa, <laughs> very fizzy. Where is she? Where is she? That's good. Have you? Okay, where huh? is she? Is good. Have you used that before? I don't know. Probably. But also, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter at all. I could change um, it if no, you it want. I could say Bazinga instead. No, oh, yeah, I thought you were going to say like, from your favorite TV show, like Buzz <laughs> yeah, Inga. Buzz- get it? Buzz Inga. Bazinga. Pretty good. Come on, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Emma turns into one of those girls. It's my, birthday. <laughs> it's still my birthday. It's my birthday. Let me say Bazinga. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm, I'm changing it to Bazinga. Are you really? Yeah. Okay, Zach, what are you going with? Bark. Okay, Jake, what is your uh, buzzing noise going to be? Oh, uh, I was going to wait till. Oh, wait, you're the you're Alex Trebek. Um, uh, Burn my, in hell, my'll... Alex Trebek. <laughs> Woof. Uh, mine'll be. Sorry, wait, Zach's is is bark. Bark. Uh, I'll be I'll be woof. All right. Jesus. <laughs> the dog pound. Bark, wolf, and bazinga. Oh, I saw a hilarious video today of uh, DMX on one of those slingshot rides at the yeah. fair. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, so good. <laughs> he sounds uh, the same. Yeah. It's great. Like he's holding on to his cross. Yeah. Uh, it's great. So I have I have some categories here um, from uh mike Lindsay category what a card is uh you know jane malone she has those uh comedy trading cards yeah um, i'm gonna pull up three random ones ones of those that you know we all at least someone here knows knows who the person is um that's that category the next one is album titties and that is i'm gonna tell you the title title of an album you're gonna say who the comedian is specifically comedians in that got it uh this next one is uh phillips or Wright, and that's gonna be <gasps> no yeah. headberg 
Okay, sorry. Go Oops, ahead. I mean Hedberg or Wright. <laughs> no Phillips. <laughs> Hedberg. Uh, Hedberg or Wright, and that's going to be uh, Mitch Hedberg or Stephen Wright one-liners. You got to buzz in Ooh. and then say which one it is. Got it. Yeah, ran out of those. Dang. Not as uh, I mean, he's got some, he's got some bangers, but yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Go on. There's a, there's a lot more, but they're not okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next category is uh, oh, that's racish, and that is uh, race-related questions. Okay. <laughs> It'll make sense once we get there. Okay. Uh, something... Questions about race relations. Got it. Yeah. Something funny about this reality edition, mm-hmm. and uh, this is funny in my opinion, ways that people have died. And I'm going to leave a word out, and I'm going to, you'll just decide the... what. The... And these are comedians that have died in funny ways? No. Nope, just, just people. people. Just okay. People. <laughs> Got it. Um. Yeah. And then uh, bringing it back, name that comic, <gasps> and that's going to be, uh, I have three comedians here, some trivia about them, and then you're going to name that comic. Ooh. Pretty straightforward. And okay. Jake, it is your choice to pick a category. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Hedberg or Wright. All right. Here we go. H- Mitch Hedberg or Stephen Wright. Wait. Emma Jonas. Did you talk about when the he can buzz in? Um, or I don't know the, what's the role. On that. I'm not really going to do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, but it, but if if two if you buzz in at the same time, you know, uh, as Emma or Zach, it's going to go to you because you're on you know a possible delay for the internet. Yes. So do Got we it. have to wait till you're done with a question to buzz in? Still. No, you can just buzz in. Wow. Okay. Is that bad? No, that's just this is all all bets are off, baby. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna try to read fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the challenge. That's the whole game here. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Okay, here's uh here's the first Hedberg or Wright. I almost had a psychic girlfriend, but she left me before we met. Bazinga. Emma. Woof. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta really try to because right. she's she's the worst because she's the best at this. How am I uh, she's you're, been smoking you're like, her mom's crack pipe all you're day. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're like the heel of this game. You're, you're the one. I love it. You're the one to beat. I'll take it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Emma, pick a category. Okay, let's do um, name that comic. Name that comic. Born in 1951, this comedian's middle name is McLaurin. Began performing uh, stand-up comedy in San Francisco Bay Area in 1976. Impersonated dozens of celebrities, including Ed Sullivan, Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, Groucho Marx, Rodney Dangerfield, William F. Buckley Jr., Peter Lorre, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Arsenio Hall, and used most of those in Aladdin. Wolf. Jake. Uh, Robin Williams. Yes. Nice. Nice. God, I was almost going to guess Rich Little. He does a lot of those, too. <laughs> he does. Maybe not those specific ones. Yeah. He That's might have been a little older. Reference. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jake, pick a category. Okay. Um... I want to see what this this race category is. Oh boy, my favorite one. <laughs> it's pretty racy. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, this is specifically for you, Jake. Uh, when people say the N word, what are they trying to? What do they mean? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the premise of the movie. This is for everybody. The premise of the movie Soul Man is about a character who does what to get a scholarship. Oh, woof, Jake. Uh, what is uh, blackface? Yes, yeah. blackface <laughs> oh, is right. the thing the person does to get a scholarship <laughs> for the uh, oh, man. college. Who's... I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. Yeah, <laughs> who's in uh, I've seen clips. It's not good. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it's pretty like that. different time. Uh, who got that? Jake, 2012. Yeah. Jake. Boom. All right. Um. <laughs> uh, uh. The the card the card one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Pick one of Jane's cards and read the quote, and you're going to tell me what comedian says. What a card. White people don't say, I hate black people anymore. They just say, I hate Kanye West. Hmm. It's a good joke, too. Yeah. I like that one. Who is that? No idea. Uh, I'm going to take a guess. Woof. Jake. Is that an Alex Avery? No. Okay. Bark? Is Zach. that a Thomas Lundy? No. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Okay. It was uh, Chris Johnson. 
Uh, oh, that was my second guess. I wasn't sure, though. All right. That was going to be my second guess, too. You guys should have second guessed yourself. I know. <laughs> I never second guessed myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jake, still your pick. Uh, let's do reality. The uh, Something the, the... funny about this. Reality edition. In 2012, a 32-year-old of West Palm Beach, Florida, choked on anthropod body parts during a this eating contest. Woof. Jake. Uh, crawfish? No. Bazinga. No. Emma. Crab. No. Dang. Uh, crickets? <laughs> huh? Crickets? Is that your is that your buzzing noise? Oh, I thought I thought I didn't have to buzz in if I was the last one. <laughs> you don't really. Okay. <laughs> it's not crickets. No. Oh, okay. It is a uh, cockroach eating contest. Oh, oh, so oh. close. Oh, how upsetting. Yeah, South yeah. Florida. That's South Florida people. What a way okay? to go. God, gross. Oh, my Imagine gosh. everyone watching that competition, too. They <laughs> no. got home. Just all that they noise. They got a t-shirt. I went to... I watched a guy die. I went to, I, I went to a <laughs> cockroach eating competition. All I got was this was a shirt and the side of someone's life leaving their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Jake, it's still your pick. Uh, comedy titles. Comedy album titties. Here we go. Album titties. That's right. Okay. What comedian <laughs> has the album titled Louder Than Hell? Oh. Bazinga. Emma. Eddie Pepitone. Oh, no. Dang. Would have been cool if I got it, it though. Just sure would have. Yeah. Uh, Woof. Jake. Sam Kinison? Yes. Oh, it is Sam Kinison. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Of course it's Sam Kinison. Because he's loud and his dad was a, a pastor. Oh. Preacher. Oh, I didn't know the preacher thing. I just knew it was like, I was trying to think of like, who the hell is loud as fuck? Yeah. Sam Kinison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started out by being a preacher. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's an interesting Me. thing to him. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, nice. Good job. Uh, pick a category. Um... Name that comic. Name that comic. Here's the second one. Born in 1955, this comedian's name is Karen Elaine Johnson. She's also uh, done voices in the movie. She also has been in the movie Lion King and Rat Race movies. Here's a uh, quote. Wolf. Jake. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Ah, yes. Her name's Karen. Her name is Karen. <laughs> Whoopi. Whoopi oh, is way better. Wow. Dude, check this quote from Whoopi Goldberg out. People used to say to me, you're like a Whoopi cushion. And that's where the name came from. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's How? on her Wikipedia page. What? In what way was she like a what did she like fart a lot? Because she would like Either like she would like build tension and then she'd let it all go all at one time, and then oh. she, she multiple people used to say you're like a whoopee cushion, and so that just stuck. Uh, maybe somebody once said that. I mean, I don't know. Well, what do I and know? Then she and, gave herself the nickname, and so then yeah, yep. I called whoopee. myself where'd whoopee. Get, so where'd she get Goldberg? Did people she's tell a her fake she's Jew? Looks like Jew? <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. That's uh, she, oh, the hair. she's a big fan of Sammy Davis Jr. and she's like, I want to do that. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so she poked herself in the eye, and then she called herself Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Put on some tapping shoes and got a job. Uh, rest in peace with Goldberg. <laughs> what? Yeah, the black lipstick really fucked her up. She got COVID. What? Yeah. Who died. did? What? Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Stop. She We're going to get flagged. Why? Well, first you, you said somebody, who's the person who has AIDS? Uh... <laughs> or that you heard has AIDS? Uh, who was it? Oh, Mitch McConnell. Yeah, it's because I was waiting on my second stimulus check. <laughs> okay. I think it's Jake's turn. It is Jake's turn. Okay. Um, I'll go with the uh the uh the card, card one. All right, here we go. Second out of these. Do better this time. Yeah, you got to yeah. do better this time. Think about the content in the joke. Here we go. If I could figure out a way to drink responsibly, I'd probably do a little bit of meth too. Wait, a, a little bit of meth? Is that what you said? I'd probably do a little bit of meth, too. Hmm. Uh, Woof. Jake. Is that uh, Kyle Adams? No. Oh, okay. Bazinga. If I could figure out a way to drink uh. responsibly, I'd probably do a little bit of meth, too. 
I guess when I'm looking at these cards, it seems easier. Because I'm yeah, like, oh, you've that... seen the picture. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at the name and the picture and the joke. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Emma. Is it uh, uh, Sam Miller? It is Sam it Miller. It is Sam Miller. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. I got it. Were you going through your head trying to figure out all the sober comics? No, I was. I mean, <laughs> Sam Miller was my first thought, and I don't know. That's what I was and trying. Then I to doubted think. myself, and I shouldn't have. That's what I've learned. Never doubt myself. Let's do only second guess yourself, but don't doubt second yourself. Second guess, yeah. but don't. Yeah, don't. Second doubt. guess, <laughs> never doubt. Emma Hedberger, right? Hedberger, right? A fly was very close to be being called a land because that's what it does half the time. Bark. Bazinga. Uh, Hedberg. Zach Hedberg. Yeah. Pick a category yeah. on the board. Final on first the board. Point. Um, that's racist. Oh, that's racist. Uh, what movie has Sean and Marlon Wayans doing whiteface? Bark. That was definitely Emma out first. Hot chicks. No. Bark. What? No. Uh, Zach. White chicks. White chicks. Oh shit! I'm thinking of the fucking god damn it! It's because I always Rob put Schneider that Rob movie. Schneider movie <laughs> as my background <laughs> on Zoom. That it's white is... chicks, of course. All right, good job, Zach. Thank you. Great. I'm sorry. No, don't be. But, it's uh, my fault. That's, I. That's what I get I'm for not doubting myself. I'm smiling. That's. I think that's the big. <laughs> thing. I'm not looking because then you're going to accuse me of cheating. Yeah, stop cheating. <laughs> Zach. Uh, Look at it, like soaking it in over there. Mm. Which category? Yeah. Which category? <laughs> I have uh, memorized all of these because oh, I just hear. Oh them yeah. All the time. Do you? Do you? Know? Um, Mike Lindsay album titties. Hedberger right. Oh, that's racist. Something funny. Reality edition or name that comic. Oh, something funny. Reality edition. All right. In 2011, this 35 year old died after being stabbed in the leg at a this in California by a bird with a knife like spur strapped to its <laughs> leg. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Bazinga! Emma, a petting zoo. No. Fuck. Woof. Jake. Uh, cockfight. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. That is, did it, okay. Oh, that's why I had a knife tied to his Duh. leg. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh, it's just it's. I'm sorry, dude. But he deserved it. I mean, what a way to die. Yeah, it's it's also like, dude, you, you're you're doing a cockfight and you're. Uh, also, imagine the shirts you get from that. I went to a cockfight <laughs> and I got was a slazzy t-shirt in the side of someone's life leaving their eyes. <laughs> uh, who? Jake. Jake. That was me. Um, that was you. Let's do um, uh, uh, the, the titty, titties. Album titties. Okay. Yeah. okay. Guys, get ready for Focus. this one. Ready? This album title is Beyond the Pale. Oh, woof. Jake. Uh, Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Nice. Boom. Damn. Jake, pick a category. Um, let's do Hedberg Wright. Hedberg Wright. I think foosball is a combination of soccer and shish kebabs. <laughs> Bazinga. Emma. Right. Uh, no. No. Uh, Zach, do you think you can pull this one out? I think, uh, is it Mitch Hedberg? It is Mitch Hedberg. God. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm one. dying up here. <laughs> 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 uh, well, you all know I slur my words together no matter what. Zach, pick a cat. Chubby cheeks. <laughs> um, That's racist. Oh, that's racist. This is what I get for day drinking earlier. I'm blaming the booze. What, act <laughs> <laughs> what actor played Saudi businessman by the name Prince Habibu? Bazinga. <laughs> Emma. Rob Schneider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I almost is guessed, that in? I almost guessed that one. Uh, it's in, uh, <laughs> fuck, uh, click. Oh, God. Fucking uh. Schneider. Prince Habibu. I almost chose that last time. It sucks time. because it's like, just hearing that name, that's, <laughs> it's really funny. But... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, so you throw Rob Schneider in every week on purpose. Anybody, what? A anybody who <laughs> looks at this, or who, anybody yeah. who uh, wants to see what that is, just uh, look up Prince Habibu, B -E ha B E E B O O, uh, Rob Schneider, and look at what they did to his makeup in oh that God. movie. Ugh. He is he's wearing Saudi face. Uh, they even put a they put a new nose on him, dude. Jesus Christ, it's <laughs> so awful. He, he's played a lot of racist characters. I don't know why this is a surprise. He shows yeah. up in this category every week. Is the secret? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason that I knew. Um, who got that? Me, I Emma. got it. Oh, I did got you that. get that one? I did. Pick a category. Okay. Oh, okay. that's racist. Racist is closed out. Okay, no more of that. Oh my racist. god. Oh, very <laughs> yeah. racist. Oh my god, I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. Oh, show Emma. He oh, looks like he killed Jesus. <laughs> More he like looks like Jesus. one of the merchants in the temple, and Jesus went all fucking crazy and oh, started so stabbing awful. bitches. <laughs> Let's do uh, the Mike Lindsay category. Mike Lindsay category. Last card to pull here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I know at least one of you is going to know this. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> do you think if a house was bit by a werewolf? It would turn into a warehouse. Oh, fuck! Oh. You see, I don't even remember my own jokes. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say, I was like, "Is this me?" I don't. <laughs> Bazinga, Emma, Alex Avery. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's so hard not to. Jake, I don't know if he has a card, but it sounds like a Ben Gilly joke. Uh no. No, okay. I've heard that joke. Yeah. Can you read ah. it again? Oh, yes, I can. One second. Click on the thing again. <laughs> Do you think if a house got bitten by a wolf it would turn into a warehouse? No, that's not how it goes. Oh, sorry. Do you think if a house was bit by a werewolf, oh. it would turn into a warehouse? <laughs> yeah. Right, a werewolf. The way Emma said it would have been a Okay, yeah, I said it wrong. A normal wolf. A real flub boner on stage. <laughs> Was that AJ? No, it was Chaz Logan Hyde. Uh, uh, what? What? <laughs> are you yelling at me? Because <laughs> we did his card. Okay, I guess there are multiple. Oh, because we did his card before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dang, I even thought Chaz Logan Hyde, and then I was like, no, we already did his card. <laughs> oh. I'm fucking full of curveballs. I'm a fucking ding dong. Full okay, of them on a let's stream. go. Let's keep rolling. Mm -hmm. Mike Lindsay category closed out. So we have, uh, we have album titties, Hedberger Wright. Uh, something funny about this and name that comic left. No one got that, right? No one got that. Who chose the category? Me. You did. Album titties. Album titties. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. This album is called No Respect. Woof. Jake. Dangerfield? Rodney Dangerfield. Yep. Dang, so fast. So fast. I was say Bill Cosby. So fast. <laughs> 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 All right, Jake. Uh, you got album titties, Hedberger Wright, uh, something funny about this or name that comic? Uh, let's do name the comic. Name that comic. Born in 1970, this comedian opened up about his struggle with depression and anxiety and incorporates it into his comedy. He's six foot six inches tall. Bazinga. He has an album called Emma? Gary Goldman. Gary Goldman. Yay. Nice. In this a common... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Did you just say it fucked up? What In the fuck? This economy. Wow. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh what Something funny about Something this. Funny about this. Here we go. The last one. In 2005, two sisters aged 62 and 68 were killed in Spain after becoming trapped for 4 days when their this collapsed. Uh, woof. <laughs> Jake. I really hope it's bunk bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know what? I'm absolutely going to give that to you. What? What What was it? It was a fold-up bed. <laughs> Wait, so wow. they all folded into the... Into the <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they both died? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. No, no, they just went to sleep. <laughs> See, I, I don't like this... <laughs> I don't like that it says we're killed in Spain. I want it really needs to say died. <laughs> they died. Yeah, because that implies that there's a the mattress murdered them. Yeah. 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 No, they just they were like, Do you think if it if we like climb inside the hide a bed of the couch? Remember when you used to do that as a kid and you go like, yep. Oh, I can fucking fit in here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I was then, born this big. <laughs> 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 fucking show me the couch that I could fit inside of. Okay, uh we have one more album titties, one more headburger right. Because I don't remember who Jake. Oh, was it me? Um, yep. Titties. Titties. All right. This album is called These Are Jokes. Bazinga. Anybody? Just kidding. Emma. Dimitri Martin. Dimitri Martin is correct. <laughs> and here is the last Hedberg or Wright. I hate it when my foot falls asleep during the day because that means it's going to be up all night. <laughs> <Woof>. Bazinga. <laughs> Um, your laugh was 
<laughs> that's really okay. f- that's a funny joke. Your, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so your laugh came with your buzz in, but y- his buzz in came before your buzz in. I know. Jake. Uh, Hedberg. No. Oh, oh. Bazinga. <laughs> Were you going to say Hedberg? Oh, no, I was going to say right. Okay. Uh, who is it? <laughs> it's right. What's right? Stephen Wright. It's Stephen Wright, yes. <laughs> that is right. Dang, there was a, I thought there was a small chance I was going to be able to get that. <laughs> oh, I should have put one Emo Phillips in joke. there. That's a funny joke. I love it. Yeah, that's a really funny joke. I just, yeah. Oh, classic. Very that's nice. All, is that everything? That is everything. Wow. That, was a, that was a fantastic. Wow, was a... Just bam, bam, uh, game of joke birdie here. Uh, Emma, can we tally up some points here? Yeah, do you want to make any adjustments? Uh. Um, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Zach, uh, two points. Yes. Yeah, he gets two points because, um, he, he really tries. Does he? Yeah, he tries, <laughs> and he. Uh, Are those partici- participation points? Yeah. So, like, when you when you see him get something, there's a real like you know life that that comes through it. Yeah. And I, I feel like uh, everybody else is just used <laughs> Look at to that beautiful smile. Used to winning. <laughs> and, and really, it's uh, a winning smile. <laughs> Except he didn't. But uh, nice. yeah, so that's that's <laughs> it. Wait, how many more points do I need to win? Um, one, two. No, more than that. One to tie. Oh, to win? Yeah, <laughs> a lot but more than that. I already I added him in his two extra points. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's the, all the adjustments I wanted to make. Okay. I will pay ten thousand dollars if I can come in first place. You should get the money first before you agree to that. I'm gonna take uh, her advice. Okay. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> I got it. We'll, 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 we'll see about it next week. <laughs> okay, we'll see about it next week. Yeah. Get that money, get it's that in money my to... it's in my closet and I'm trapped in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get the money together and then trapped and with, out of the and, closet. And there with all your legal fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, would you like to announce? Uh, yeah, coming in third place, uh, we have Zach Chapel. Hey, I tried to buy my way out of this, but we'll see about next week. Next time, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start training. And what second place here? Is it just because is it because you wanted to not announce that uh, second place Emma Jonas? Woo. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I was fine. I'm it's fine. your birthday too. Because coming is this two weeks in a row. What, that she's lost? That it's my birthday? Yes. Came in second? Uh, I, oh, I don't know. Am I losing my touch? No, I won last week. What about the week before that? <laughs> you think she You think she didn't beat Will? I oh, won. yeah, I forgot that. Was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won the week before that. No offense, Will. And the week I mean. before that. And the week before that. Ooh. Yeah, see, so yeah. And before that. But also she's <laughs> but the one also, keeping score. But Very also this week with a total of, <laughs> what is that, eight points, our winner taking down the... The, the champion. The, what's his name, Ken Jennings. Uh, Jennings. Ken Jong. Ken, Ken taking Jong. down the, the Dr. Ken Jong of uh, this show, uh, Jake Huney. Yes. Hell yeah. Well played. Do you want to do a... You're a uh, worthy adversary and i accept my defeat with grace and and dignity and grace uh i just i just want to point out that jacob in hebrew means uh usurper so i have i've done it i've fulfilled my name yeah now you can kill yourself (laughs) so quote it's not true do you ever meet any uh usurper girls down in (laughs) never mind (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> don't forget your wetsuit <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, did you want to do uh, a- Emma offers this up sometimes but I'm going to offer it this time uh, if you wanted to do a monologue while she plays uh, the Seinfeld riff oh, yeah. real quick as like a, you know he that, like opens up his show with a monologue but if you don't want to that's fine but if you do it's a, oh. it's, it's a free form whatever you like oh uh, just, just, just go for it yeah I did one uh, on the video game awards one time that just got, got me yelling <laughs> yeah, it was pretty okay. intense. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, g- I'll give it a shot. Okay. <clears throat> just let me know when I gotta like cue oh, me yeah. in, count me in. Oh, uh, whenever it. you oh, hear just... the music. Okay. Do you ever what's what's with these birthday decorations? I mean, you leave them up for one day, but 
somebody's gonna have a birthday in a couple another days, so why don't you just leave it up and have a birthday corner? Birthdays all the time! Yeah, and then I would just stare at the audience this entire time. I would stare down the audience just... Yeah. You nailed it. Nice. Very good. Zach, Thank did you, you want to do one? Uh, it's usually offered to the winners, but I mean, if you wanted to... No, 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 no. You sure? Okay. Chad? No, I'll do, it. I'll do it next week. Okay. Are you saying because that's because you're going to win next week with your $10,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, with I your see. bribe, yeah. Yeah, I'm bringing a fat stack next week. <laughs> Bring your, bring your thickest wallet is what I'm saying. <laughs> I got my th- thickest my brain wallet. Okay. He's gonna steal oh, your... you got microchipped. You got your vaccine. <laughs> Fucking, I wish. You want to do a monologue? I want to get a microchip. Um, yeah. What's what? Did, what? Did, how many? What? What are they thinking that the the microchips are just available that readily available and it's gonna be free? You can just go there and get it for free. And I mean, what do they, they think it's going to pay off in the in the long run? Like, because they're just going to, it's going to eventually be like you walk into a store and the, they're, they're getting your, your blood data. <laughs> okay, oh, I, I got one. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, why do we got to eat so much? Why do I just got to, all, all I got to do is just eat. You ever think about uh, the amount of food? In a whole lifetime, I gotta eat. My whole life is just eating and drinking water, and that's all the food there is. <laughs> that's harder. That's harder than I, uh, than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, it. I was just like thinking back of the words that I just that just came out of my mouth, and I don't think. It made a sentence no matter how you arranged the well, there's part of There's part of my brain that's <laughs> reserved to going, she's actually doing the Seinfeld thing. That's pretty good. And then it, that's great. And then it goes away. Yeah, quickly. and then I don't remember what I'm thinking, but it, no, yeah. it doesn't matter. I still <laughs> couldn't like. That's the secret to having a hit sitcom. You've got to be able to tell your jokes over a bass riff. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's what, that's what I, I tried that once. Oh, yeah. Didn't work out. Nope. Well, the guy didn't work out. Yeah, he was just a weirdo. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. You just, just got to get a non-creepy bassist, which I, is a pretty big ask. I yeah, that's, that's a hard one. I Especially a stand-up, stand-up, stand-up bassist <laughs> yeah. for like a basement comedy show thing. Oh. And it was pretty cool, but he was a weirdo. So we just kind of... That's putting it lightly. Parted ways, yeah. <laughs> the the bartenders there would come up to me and be like, hey, um, what the fuck is with this guy? <laughs> he's, he's like asking me out, he was and very he's racist. like, "Old, oh, uh, are you into Hello Kitty?" Yeah, he's really racist. Uh, yeah, let's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. This yeah. sounds yeah. like a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you add also play stand up bass into that whole uh, uh-huh. mixture of what he had going on, it's like, oh, fucking, of course it makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Weird ass. Too bad. Uh, good job winning joke pretty hell yeah hey like zach s- yes do we have any emails did you do. did you dig up any emails for us this yeah week? I, I dug up a couple emails kind of sweet some, some weird ones we got a uh, four foot deep email bucket that's just oh you just reach you just it, reach in yeah we yeah, just stand yeah. in it and hide if it's a small boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah you stand in it <laughs> i think our email thing is kind of weird because we get the emails in and then the email sends it to a fax machine that prints it out into the bucket and the whole thing takes about 45 minutes. The For podcast at gmail.com. Fax us at the podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> uh, all right. First email. Um, do you prefer corn or flour tortillas for your tacos? This comes from Chris. I like flour. I like flour, but I... I. Well, for tacos, though, actually, I like corn. Yeah, for a taco. I like the crunchy. The crunchy's pretty good. I'm going to say I corn. Like, yeah, I like the flavor of a corn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For a burrito, I like a flour, but for yeah. for a taco, I take a corn. Yeah, I think that's a good. I do the whole like, I don't eat bread, but I eat burritos all the time. With like, <laughs> I want a flour tortilla for sure on that, and, and my chicken yeah. breaded, and you know, th- I mean, that's about it. But still, oh, like your fucking cookies, you piece of shit. Mm, yeah, I'm a cookie piece fiend. Oh, oh they're so <laughs> good. Uh, he makes the best cookies, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm oh, a cookie I'm like, no, I don't eat that stuff. Uh-uh. No, it's, it's <laughs> not what I. No, no, thank you. The secret <laughs> is the microwave. Four them. of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta Dude, do some more soon. Yeah, I put. Uh, so the cookies are about half inch to three quarters of an inch 
thick. Yeah, the, yeah, they're they're tall cookies. And I put uh, about that much peanut butter on top of one Whoa. of these cookies. Holy Hell yeah! Lee, fuck. What kind <laughs> of cookies are these? Just some straight up good old fashioned chocolate chips. Yeah. Okay. Really good ones. Still warm. Yeah. Kind of makes I didn't, the peanut butter all melt. Oh Jesus! I didn't eat chocolate chip cookies until like I was like sixteen. I like hated the taste of them. Oh, that's weird. Wow. It was. I was like oatmeal raisin all the way. And oh, that's like, super wow. weird. Good too. Yeah. I do love an oatmeal raisin. But I'm, they're all right. I don't think they're the best cookies in the world, chocolate chip. But I, they're they're good. You know what's crazy about oatmeal raisin is it? Uh, it's a fine cookie, but if someone gives you an oatmeal grape cookie, fucking throw it in their face. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the grapes just sticking out of oh. it. Yeah, yeah, oh. just like partially cooked and that's shit. upsetting. And burnt grapes on there. Mm, mm, mm. All right. What if it's after? What if they slice like, some? Like they make an oatmeal cookie and then they put grapes on it. Oh, just like Not on top with some peanut that. butter. I'd eat that. Oh, you know yeah. what I would do actually? Yeah, I'd eat it. Yeah, but if they yeah, if they did like an oatmeal cookie with uh, some grape jelly on it. Yeah, I'd fuck with that. I feel like that's a good. Anyways, next question. Yeah. Um <laughs> onions on your feet benefits. This comes from Jeff Parks. Onions on your feet benefits. Yeah, that's what it Is says. Is that for when your feet get Actually, pepper actually no, it says uh <laughs> let me correct. It says onions on your feet benefits. Onions on your feet benefits. I think it was a subject and then a that's the whole. That's, that's the what whole it says. email. Yeah. Well, one time we got an email from Clancy Kramer that just said "come." <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. he had a point. We read all of them, so that's yeah. The, okay, the all right. Thing. Yeah. I said I was reaching deep into it. I didn't say I was. There was a lot. In well, there. I mean, uh, <laughs> when I say <laughs> it's a really deep bucket. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the way to get people to write in and say I will read every single we one. We read that comes in. all of oh, these. Oh, definitely, yeah. we'll read every single yeah. one. Yeah, I'll read the Comcast emails that I send over there. <laughs> What's uh okay? Hot deals in your area. Say it again. It's gonna be some onions Michael on your che, feet Colin benefits. Onions shit. on your feet benefits. Benefits. Um. Okay. So. I mean, I'm trying to think cover of up feet it. smell with onion smell. Yeah, with onion smell. I guess so. Yeah. Make your feet taste uh savory. Yeah. yeah. Feet seasoning. Yeah. Feet yeah. seasoning. You got if you Get got if you got a foot guy who who's not had dinner. Hmm. All right, uh, Jeff. Yeah. That's a weird one. <laughs> I, don't any, I don't see any other benefits. Yeah. No, that's about okay. It. Let's move on from that one. Oh, uh, this is a really weird one. Am I nasty for this? LOL. Am I a dirty bitch? It's my first time. That's a subject. Uh, I, I went to the public bathroom and had to pee so bad I waited in a long ass line and then I needed to poop suddenly. And by the time I got in there, the toilet was clogged. So I shitted and pee on the floor. This comes <gasps> from... Listener Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Okay, so I have uh, immediate uh, like for someone who says the word "shitted." Yeah, me too. <laughs> shitted, yeah. Uh -oh. Shitted. I shitted. Yeah, that's on the, the angle he should have gone with. I, sh I, I shitted and peed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so what's the what's the, the question? Yeah, is? He wants to know. Are they a nasty, nasty little bitch? That's nasty. Oh, am I a nasty little bitch? Uh, am I, yeah. Am I nasty for this? LOL. Am I a dirty bitch? It's my first time. I mean, Alex Jones is, na is nasty and it. a dirty little bitch for a lot of reasons. And yeah. that yeah. is also one of them. So, I mean, if I if I didn't know this was Alex Jones, I would have been like, I mean, yeah, I, I think so. But it's, it's still, yeah, you, it seals it. You go on top of the clog if you absolutely have to. Yeah, you just keep it contained. You don't spread the problem. Uh -uh. I don't know. I might find that little uh, grate in the bathrooms that they have so that they could just hose it all down. And You know how Whoa. they all have that? Mm -hmm. just, yes. You know. uh, that just Gross. flashbacks to when I was working at Boy Scout camp. People would shit in the showers, and I would have to clean no. it out at the no. end of the week. Uh, how do you do, like, take, a, take a chopstick to no, it and break it up? You or use what? your flip-flop that's already on your foot and stomp it through. No, that's, called, that's called waffling, and it doesn't always waffling. work. Yeah, you don't waffle it. Uh, sometimes you do have to get like a wire. There was a specific poop wire that we would get to like pick. We were resourceful, you know. That's, yeah. that's why people say that's why people get disgusted when there's hair in their food because they're like, I don't want to have to clean my shit drains later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I get it. I get how people learn to do certain things. Yeah. Um. Uh. So it is pretty nasty though. Pronto it pups. Is nasty. Pronto Pups. Pronto we stopped by Pronto Pups, Pups which is a uh, a corn dog place on the way to the beach. Mm. Ooh, so uh, good. It's really good. I fucking love corn dogs. Speaking of uh, shitholes, there's a, <laughs> uh, a porter potty there, 
that was the most open porter potty I've seen. Because there's there's like a there's a a urinal side right here, and then there's a toilet regular standard. Um, but it was either stacked up so high with shit and everything, or it was just. Did you notice that? I yeah, I did. <laughs> I had to pee really bad, and I just I put all of my belongings in the car, except my hand sanitizer, and I just closed my eyes and just spun know, around. Did what I had to do. Crazy to think that that's probably the only public ba- convenient public bathroom within like fifty miles mm-hmm. of that. Urinal. There was a guy carrying his daughter out, and he was holding her up. <laughs> just like, I don't want <laughs> you to fucking touch any of that. Yeah, it was <laughs> a super gross. Yeah. And honestly, we if we had just waited like 20 minutes to get to the next available bathroom, that would have been fine. Tell you what, I'd rather <laughs> poop and pee on the pee and shit it on the floor than <laughs> pee and shit it in that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you're nasty. Yeah, I I'm peed, not that nasty. You're a little nasty. I peed on the toilet paper that was in the urinal. Just <laughs> <laughs> the noise it makes and oh. all 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 uh, of it. I, yeah, oh. I really don't like. Oh. P- p- Parked next to the um, uh, porta potty was uh, a some kind of old car, like an old muscle car of some sort, mm-hmm. and it had decals on the front and back. Of uh, anybody want to take a guess? I already told you, so you don't get to guess. Uh, m- MAGA. Close enough. The Confederate flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oregon coast. Yeah, and there was a really uh, barky pit bull with a spiked collar tied up next to it. Fuck yeah. When I came out of the porta potty, which was just a little too on the nose for me. That's way too on the nose. Right? I felt so bad for what that. What if he's just a big fan of Dukes of Hazard? I don't care. <laughs> don't put a fucking. I, okay. I don't think that person owns flag. sleeves. <laughs> based on his car and his dog. I'm pretty sure I saw the guy who was like in a flannel, which is very, you know, beach rednecky like they have out there. What a what a weird demo of people though. Yeah. The beach redneck, but it's a thing. They got a whole it's all a whole place. <laughs> 10 to 20 years behind the times. Yeah, all they got to do was meth. Yeah. <laughs> meth on the beach. What's uh we got another one? Uh yeah, one last one. Uh so yes, dirty bitch. Yeah, super dirty bitch. Yeah. Unless it's a Filled up uh, porta potty. Yeah, that's yeah. my mm-hmm. opinion, though. Then you peed and shit it on the. I should have gone on the car. Oh, yeah, you should have. Dang. Or you could be like. The, <laughs> oh, you should have gone on the dog. You could. You could be like oh. the person we drove by and we just saw someone's ass. <laughs> just <laughs> <hanging. We did. laughs> it's on the side of the yes, road. Yes, we did. <laughs> like, oh, they got to go. I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, the car's probably still there because it was there when we drove back by it a few hours later. So, I think they Sometimes probably just worked there. You gotta find a place to sleep sometimes. Mm, yeah, after I to. mentioned the business name, I wasn't gonna say that part. No, oh, well, I mean, ousted. Don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, <laughs> last email. Also, it's not Prono Pups. They're attached to the place where That's the true. show works. I think it could just work at the. Oh, okay. The gas station. Uh. <laughs> All right, last email. Uh, why do boys in high school always like the same girl? It's always the same few girls that every boy at school likes. Grumpy face. This comes from uh, Al Gore. Big fan of the show is what mm. he says. <laughs> <laughs> Great question, Al. Well, it does sound inconvenient. Yeah, like a really inconvenient truth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's because um, people are um, uh, uh, inclined to use up limited resources in a way that is detrimental to uh, <laughs> the... It's just human nature. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think people gravitate toward uh, people who uh, gain their charisma early on because they're either unaware of uh, social anxiety or they just yeah. Don't who the ha- fuck are those They just aliens. don't have it or something. It's I think it's all in the titty size. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, I get bigger titties now. Yeah. That's. I mean, you know what? Don't even worry about those all of those boys in school. Don't even fucking. Don't even look at them. Honestly, fuck them. But sh- don't don't fuck them. Don't I don't even think, might... think about fucking him. Oh no, yeah. Uh, I I th- <laughs> I think it's just like it's like someone says like, "Hey, do you like this thing?" I'm like, "Yeah, I do." It's just like a social thing. You're just trying to connect. It's like, "Yeah, I totally like that person over there." I don't think they actually like that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
You're no. just trying to like trying to fit in type stuff. Yeah, Peer pressure. Right. Yeah, Peer it's like pressure. you like yeah. Kelly. No, uh, maybe. No, you do. We all do. That's how how I am with Al Gore because I'm cold all the time and I'm okay with a little bit of the global warming. So I'm like, yeah, Al Gore is all right. <laughs> Fine. I respect him. Yeah. I mean, I respect how, how much he's trying. I mean, just stop it like stop it like 80%. Stop global warming 80%, but let a little yeah. bit happen cuz my fucking feet get cold and Yeah, just let a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he understands how cold your feet get as a tall person. Like my yeah. blood just requires it has to travel far further. You should put that in the reply. P.S. I'm okay. <laughs> P.S. My tootsies are cold. My toesies. <laughs> I was going to see what Al Gore looked like in 2021. Because he's any, getting old. Are there any more emails? No, that was all of them. Wow. We have accomplished so much. So much. I want to see what Al Gore looks like real quick before we get to socials. Uh, he doesn't look that bad, actually. Oh, he looks great. Yeah. I mean, that's what he looked like when I first learned who he was. See, that's that's what happens when you take care of what you have. Oh, this one. Oh, he looks like a stone cold fox. And if you were to guess what kind of. Oh, my God. Look at this. Fabian, he looks like it. Would it be frog? (laughs) This is someone. Someone implies that um, we already have too many icebergs. so We can get done losing a couple. (laughs) <laughs> Jake, thank you very much for being on the podcast with us. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, social stuff that you want people to follow you at? Uh, sure. Yeah, I got uh, my Instagram is Jake Scout. Um, uh, all one word. And uh, yeah, quarantine oh, like comedy. Oh, like Boy Scout. Like Boy Scout, yes. It makes yeah. sense now. It all makes sense. Um, let's uh, quarantine comedy on Facebook and Instagram. Hell yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Cool. Yep. Way to go. Very nice. Zach Chapel from the internet. Zach from the internet. Zach from the internet. Zach Chapel is on the internet right now. That's what I was just <laughs> trying to say. Uh, Emma Pace J. That's me. Um, Chad Johnstagram and at the Pod Chaos. Say hello to us and uh, send us an email. Send us an email. The Pod <laughs> at Gmail dot com. That's been emails. That's been the pod chaos. That's been Jake Huny right here. Thank you. And uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Yo, look at thank Al Gore. You. Boom, boom, boom. Bye. Bye.